This whole story would start a few days after the end of the Tournament of Power. Goku, after that big tournament, would realize that there are many strong beings in this world. I really thought I was strong, but it's still not enough. That tournament made me open my eyes. Meanwhile, Gohan. After the Tournament of Power, he questioned a lot of things. If it wasn't for my father, maybe this universe wouldn't exist. I really couldn't do much in that tournament because of my great weakness. Now that I realize I didn't have to stop training, if I was stronger I could protect Videl and Pan. What if one day my father isn't there to protect us? I have to become stronger no matter what. Videl, I'm going out for a while, I'm going to visit my father. It's okay Gohan, but don't come back so late. Gohan flew out of his house to go to his father's house. Goku was eating with Goten. Chi Chi, the food you make is so good that I can't stop eating it. Gohan was knocking on the door. Father, I've come to visit you. I want to tell you something. I have been thinking these last three days. Gohan came out of the house with Goku to tell his father everything he had been thinking. Goku with a serious face said, I didn't think this day would come. I thought you had already retired from the world of martial arts. But it's never too late. Don't worry, in a short time, and with the potential you have, you'll become strong very fast. Meanwhile, in the universe of the god Vermut, Vermut was sitting quietly when suddenly his angel Margarita informed him of something. Tell me, what is going on? I shouldn't get into this, but don't you think that the mortal of Universe 7 was very reckless with this tournament? Thanks to him, you could feel what it feels like to be eliminated by Zenosama. Tell me, you liked not feeling anything for a few minutes? Vermouth, who was sitting down, pounded the table shouting like this. No need to remind me. It has been the worst feeling of my life. Besides, I am sure the other gods are very upset. Vermouth would have called the god Beerus to inform him of his discomfort. Mr. Beerus, you have received a call. What's up? There are three gods that have called me on the same day. Apparently it's the god Vermut. The I answer my call. Tell me, what's up? I don't know if the other gods have told you something, but I think the Saiyan, Goku, doesn't deserve to be alive after the humiliation he put us all through. Don't you think he was too reckless? In the world of the gods, that is something that cannot be forgiven. The great Zenosama, as if nothing. If they keep him alive, I don't know what could happen to existence itself. It is better to eliminate the plague from the root. The root of this plague and catastrophic situations are caused by the Saiyan Goku. Besides, he brought another Zenosama. We already have enough with one, and now there are two. So you suggest we eliminate him? That's right. My idea is to go to your Universe 7 with two other gods to finish it. We'll let you know when we finish it. It's okay, but keep it between us. I don't know what could happen if the great Zenosama finds out about this. Vermut would have closed the call with God Beerus. Vermut's god would let out a laugh. Ha <laughs> ha! It was about time. The god would have left his universe along with his angel to go to Earth with two other gods. These gods were Quitella and the god Champa. The three would have headed to Earth at high speed, while Go Goku was talking to Gohan. A loud explosion would be heard. Dende, who was sleeping, would wake up quickly, just like Picoro. Both would feel a strong key. Because my body is shaking, I feel the key of three very strong gods. These three gods of destruction are on Earth. The three gods would have arrived at Goku's house. You guys are... What are you doing on Earth? Father, I feel that these guys don't have good intentions. So you were the person who defeated my warrior Jiren? Without that transformation, you don't look so strong. Tell me, what do you want? What are you doing here? Are you looking for trouble? We are not looking for trouble. The only thing we are looking for here is your death. Saiyan Goku, you are a threat to everyone. These three gods would begin to raise their power enormously, thus making planet Earth tremble. The other Z warriors would have woken up after having this great tremor. Dende together with Picaro would arrive at that place. I know you are gods of destruction. We are not looking for any kind of trouble, so if you can leave here quietly, I would appreciate it very much. <laughs> You're joking, midget. We will only leave until the mortal Goku dies. You better stay away, I'll take care of them. But Goku, you are crazy, they are gods. 
That does not matter. I will not give up my life so easily. Goku would go to his transformation as Super Saiyan Blue for later launch himself against these gods. The three gods would throw themselves against Goku, thus starting a fight of fists and kicks. Goku was trying to dodge the blows of these three gods, but it was very difficult for him. Father, I will not leave you alone. I will also help you. Gohan would use his transformation as Super Saiyan 2, so he would throw himself against Quidella to leave his father against these two gods. Boy, it is a mistake that you've interfered in our fight. You are only an ant. The god Quitella would give a strong blow to Gohan, so he would put his two arms to try to stop the blow, but his bones would break slightly. The Hakai energy ball would go against Gohan. Goku would try to help his son, but those two gods wouldn't let him. But when the energy ball was going against Gohan, Picoro would have put himself in front of it to enter the energy ball. Picoro, he was suffering a very painful torture. I can't take it anymore. Gohan, you have to keep living whatever it takes. You heard me? Picoro's body was shattered by that ball of Hakai energy. Gohan shouted loudly, Mr. Picoro, it, it can't be possible because you didn't have to lose your life like that. From Gohan's body, a few lightning bolts would come out, thus using his mystical form. What you did to Mr. Picoro, I won't forgive you. Gohan would launch himself against the gods, thus inserting a blow in his stomach. This blow would make the god retreat. That blow hurt me a lot. Gohan would hit the god again and again. This young man became faster and stronger. I'll have to use my 5%. The god would instantly increase his power, thus stopping Gohan's attacks with great ease. The god would start squeezing Gohan's arm hard, understand that a mortal can never beat a god. The god would grab Gohan's face and then give him a little punch on the neck that would make Gohan fall to the ground, thus losing his transformation. He could barely keep his consciousness active. The god would start to step on Gohan. Goku seeing this would try to help his son again, but he could not do anything. I can't allow my son to be humiliated in this way. Goku would charge at Kamehameha, thus throwing it to the two gods, but they would deflect the attack to create a ball of Hakai energy, the two of them together. I am not able to use the Ultra Mastered Instinct. Even though I want to activate it, it doesn't activate. That would help me a lot at this moment. The only option I have is to escape with my son from this place. I know it's humiliating, but I have no other choice. It's worse to lose my life for those gods. Goku would activate the Kaioken 15 times, so the veins in his body would start to come out. This mortal thinks that by increasing his power, he can beat us? What an idiot. The gods would throw the Hakai energy ball at Goku, but Goku would take advantage that his power had increased in order to move at great speed. Goku would give a strong kick to the god Quitella, that would make him back a little. You insolvent, how dare you! Goku would grab his son's clothes to carry him in her arms, and then fly at great speed. Father, what are you doing? You know that if you use the Kaioken in such a way, your ki will suffer great consequences in the future. But Gohan, I can't do anything. I can't let them eliminate us. The god Kutella was chasing Goku, while the other gods were using mental power in order to move the Hakai ball, energy ball, at will. Goku would start flying all over the earth. I don't know where we can hide and my power is running out. Then they would shout, hide in the time chamber. Maybe I can do something to change the dimension. Quitella it away, I would think. That brat doesn't have the power to change dimensions. Goku would quickly fly to Dende's temple to enter with his son to the time chamber. Dende would mentally try to change the dimension so they wouldn't be affected by the Hakai energy ball. But in spite of his attempts, he couldn't do anything. The ball of Hakai energy would impact against the chamber of time, thus turning it into ashes completely. There was nothing left of what was that room. The whole place would go up in flames, while Vermut and the other god would arrive in order to try to feel Goku's ki. But in spite of their attempts, they could not feel it. Apparently that mortal has died, and his son was also affected. It is a pity, but he got into our fight. I think our work is finished here. It will be better for us to retire, we have nothing to do here. 
the three gods would leave the planet Earth, thinking that the place had become ashes. When a mortal dies with the power of a god, his soul doesn't go to heaven or hell. They simply become nothing. Who was on Beerus' planet would think, Why can't I feel Goku's key? Has he died? No, that can't be possible. Maybe Lord Beerus has done something. I know that as an angel I should report it to my father, but he hasn't done anything. Bad the job of the gods is to destroy things that are not right. Whis would go to Beerus' room to tell him what I had felt. Apparently the same Goku has lost his life. Beerus would get serious. So you managed to find out what happened? Are you going to say something? I'm not going to say anything. That is not a matter for me to get involved. After all, Goku is a problem. On Earth, all the Z-Warriors would be very worried for not being able to feel the presence of Goku and Gohan. Vegeta would say, What the hell is happening in Kakarot's house? Because it is a mess. I can't feel his key, neither the key of his son. Thanks to the fight that Goku had with those gods, his house would be torn to pieces, leaving only rubble. Gotin, who could not assimilate what was happening, would have taken out the body of his unconscious mother. Vegeta would ask Gotin what had happened to the place. But Goten would not answer why everything had happened so fast. Mr. Vegeta, because I cannot feel the key of my brother or the key of my father. That's what I ask myself. Besides, that is not the only key I cannot feel. I cannot feel the key of Picaro either. Dende, who had some injuries, would have gone out to clarify everything. I know what happened to the two of them. Dende would tell everything happened to the Z-Warriors. Everyone would have been very surprised. Vegeta, he would clench his fist. How? Dare they? Really, Kakura and his son were eliminated from existence by those three gods. Bulma searches for the dragon spheres. I need answers. I can't believe this is happening. Meanwhile, in the chamber time, Gohan was almost unconscious, thus losing his vision little by little. Goku would have fallen to the ground, thus losing his transformation to return to his base state. Gohan would say with his little strength, Father, this place, don't tell me it's the time chamber. Father, don't tell me this place is the time chamber. That's right, Gohan. Somehow I achieved enter in this place. Outside a loud explosion was heard. Goku and Gohan would have fainted both together by the brutal energy drain that these two Saiyans had. The two did not know that they had been trapped in that place until. More than five hours would have passed. Gohan would be the first to wake up, since Goku still had internal injuries from using the Kaioken at such a level. My head hurts a lot, and even my wounds have not finished healing, but I have to leave this place. I need to know how Videl and the others are. Maybe those gods have already left the earth. Gohan would walk to the door of the time chamber, but when he tried to open it, it was totally closed. Damn, this thing does not open. I have no other choice. Gohan would throw a small ball of energy towards the door of the room, so thus destroying it completely. But when he did, he would get a terrible surprise. There he would find nothing on the other side. He would only find the same dimension, a totally white place without any noise. It can't be possible. Don't tell me that we're locked in this place. Those damned gods! I'll not allow this. Gohan would have transformed into a Super Saiyan, thus increasing his power as much as he could, but in spite of doing so, the place would remain exactly the same. Goku, who was on the floor unconscious, would have felt the power that his son was expelling. Gohan, what's wrong? Father, I've increased my power as much as possible and the room is still as if nothing. Let's try both together. Goku and Gohan, even though they were hurt, would use the Super Saiyan 2 both together. In the white space, a bright yellow light would be seen. But in spite of increasing their powers, the room was still as if nothing. Goku would lose the transformation of the Super Saiyan 2 to fall to the ground, and then spit some blood. Apparently my power is not recovered yet. Father, you better rest. The humiliation that those gods did to us, I will make them pay for 1000 times over. I hope my daughter and Videl are well. Son, from what I see, we will stay here for a long time. Instead of seeing this as a curse, we should see it as a blessing. A few hours ago, you told me that you wanted to have more power than you already have. I'm sure that maybe in a year, we can find a way to get out of here. If you say so, father, I guess you're right. Goku and Gohan would start to train in that room. That way, spending more than a year. 
Goku would have managed to perfect the mastered Ultra Instinct to 20%, while Gohan would have achieved the transformation of Super Saiyan 3. Goku would think, my son is incredible, in just one year he has achieved such power, without a doubt he is a prodigy. Father, a year has passed so fast, how will things be outside? Gohan, let me see your new power. After fighting, we will leave this place. Gohan would transform into Super Saiyan 3, while Goku into Super Saiyan Blue. Goku would approach Gohan at great speed to give him a strong punch in the face, but Gohan would dodge it and then get behind him and kick him in the back. Goku would back up a little and then throw several energy balls at Gohan. He would start to move around the time chamber. Father, if you want to defeat me, you will have to do more than that. Gohan would start to move extremely fast in order to create clones of himself. These three clones would throw themselves at Goku, so the three would give a strong blow to Goku. As Gohan can move so fast, Gohan would start to hit his father extremely fast. Goku would start to cover with his two hands to concentrate. I guess I'll use this. I think it's not necessary, but to motivate my son, I have to use my maximum power. Goku would change to his mastered Ultra Instinct form, thus grabbing Gohan by the neck. The two illusions created by his speed would have disappeared instantly. What's up, son? That's all you have? That's what you've trained for a year? Don't you want to take revenge on those gods? Silence, father! I'm not weak! Gohan would expel even more power, so these two would have had a clash of fists, thus creating a strong air current. Gohan would jump backwards and throw a Kamehameha to his father. Goku in the same way would change a Kamehameha. The two energy powers would collide. Gohan exerted great ki in his technique as well as Goku, but despite Gohan's attempts, his Kamehameha was losing power more and more. I will not give up yet. Gohan's technique would grow a little more, but Goku would only laugh. To use 10% of the total power of the mastered Ultra Instinct, thus the Kamehameha Gohan was about to hit him, but Goku would use instant teleportation to get his son out of there. The two energy waves would explode. But despite the strong explosion, the place would still be intact. That would leave a lot of thinking in Goku's head. Normally the room, even if we are locked in, if it receives that level of power, it would have exploded. Maybe our power is not enough to get out of here. Gohan would lose the transformation. Father, I'm very tired. The Super Saiyan 3 is a transformation that wears you out a lot of your power. Gohan, that's because you haven't controlled it very well yet. Let time pass. But for now, I want to see if I can get out of here. Goku would increase all his power, thus managing to use 20% of the power of the mastered Ultra Instinct. Gohan would be very surprised with the power that his father was expelling, but despite being more than a minute increased his power, the room would continue as if nothing. Gohan seeing this would have entered a mental crisis. What if we can't get out of this place? I don't want to be trapped here forever. I have a daughter, a wife. Gohan, don't be so negative. You keep training. I promise you that someday we will get out of this place. And meanwhile, on Earth, flashback of a day before. Vegeta, after Kakra, lost his life at the hands of the Gods of Destruction. He would ask Balma to look for the Dragon Spheres. Balma, after a few hours, would have gathered them all, so the Seven Spheres would begin to shine with great force. The sky would become dark to several rays, Great Dragon Shenlong came out of there and complies my wish. An imposing dragon of green scales would have come out of the spheres. Tell me what your wish will be. I can only fulfill one wish. Shenlong Dragon, I want you to tell me if Goku and his son Gohan have lost their lives. That is your wish. It is very easy to fulfill. Shenlong would start searching every possible corner of the world of the dead, and apart from that he would also search all the planets, but in spite of searching he would find nothing. I can't feel the vital energy of Goku or that young Gohan. Most probably they were eliminated by the power of the gods, or they were erased from existence itself. Since there is no other explanation, that's all. Shenlong there is no more. Tell me one quick thing, is there any way to revive people if a god eliminates them? In the multiverse there are several divine laws. These are made up of 12 laws. 
In one of those laws, especially Law 6, it says that no being apart from the high-ranking ones can revive living beings eliminated by a god. Since those people become cosmic dust, my power as a dragon is not even above the weakest high-ranking beings. It is all that my power allows to speak. Without further ado, I say goodbye. The spheres would have been shattered over the earth, thus being turned into stone. Vegeta would say, so what he didn't want to happen happened. Kakara and his son were eliminated by the power of the gods of destruction. But I promise that this is not going to stay like this. Balma, who was also very sad, and at the same time upset, would have called Wiss in Beerus' planet. Wiss would have received several missed calls from Balma. Mr. Beerus, I think they have already found out about everything. Do you plan to do something? I want you to answer the call. I'll have to give him a serious warning. After several missed calls, Beerus would have answered. The hologram of Beerus would be seen all over the capsule corporation. Listen to me, everyone. Goku was just a nuisance. I only did what a god would do, and that is to eliminate the people and planets that are a problem. I don't need to explain what Goku did. And just one more thing. If they do anything that could harm me, I will destroy the Earth, as well as Frieza destroyed planet Vegeta. I don't mind annihilating the entire human race. Beerus would say this with a very intimidating face. Vegeta, who couldn't stand his words, would say, I promise that this is not going to stay like this. You'll pay for it very expensive. Vegeta, don't talk nonsense. You can't face my fearsome power. Just don't do anything rash or else you know. See you soon. The call would have been cut off. Mr. Beerus, don't you think you were too hard on them? It's the only way for them to learn. Meanwhile on Earth, all the Z-Warriors would have feel a great impotence for not being able to do anything because of their great weakness. I'm not weak. I will not be left behind. Need to train even harder, whatever it costs me. Maybe someday I can avenge them. It is hard for me to say, but I will swallow my pride. There is nothing I can do for the time being. Meanwhile, Frieza, one of his commanders who was infiltrating Capsule Corporation, would have communicated with Emperor Frieza. In the meantime, on Frieza's ship, Mr. Frieza, we are receiving a call from Earth. He says it's very important. Frieza would get in touch with their servant. The servant would tell him everything that happened too. Frieza and show him some recordings. The longer Frieza watched those recordings, his eyes would open more and more because of the impression. This can't be possible. <laughs> Finally, Goku's verminous no and will interpose my way. Without Goku's presence, I can conquer many planets. This is the best news they could have given me. Frieza would concentrate in order to feel Goku's key as much as he could, but even though they were not so many light hours away, he would not be able to feel anything. The recording of the news seemed to be real. Apparently, I will never know anything more about that Saiyan. Meanwhile, in the time chamber, going back to the present time, Goku and Gohan would start a strong training, thus gaining much better control of his key veins. Gohan, even though he felt infinite loneliness, would not stop training. For now, my only objective is to beat my father in power. I don't want to be weak anymore. I don't want to be trampled by anyone. This way, more than 20 years would have passed. Goku and Gohan, in all that time, would have become much stronger. Thus, Gohan achieving the Super Saiyan God, until reaching the blue being a step away from passing another transformation. I have become stronger. If I can combine the Super Saiyan Blue with my mystic power, I will surely become stronger. On the other hand, Goku would have managed to perfect the Mastered Ultra Instinct, thus achieving 90% of his power. The more time passes, the harder it is for me to perfect the power of the Mastered Ultra Instinct. Reaching 40, 50, and 60% was too easy, but reaching 90% became very difficult. I still have the hope that I will get out of here. Meanwhile, I will not stay behind. My son said that this humiliation will be returned by a thousand to those bastards. Meanwhile, let them enjoy their momentary peace after a while. It will not be like this. My son said that this humiliation will be returned by one thousand to those damned ones. In the meantime, let them enjoy their momentary peace after a while. It will not be so. Time would pass, more than 1,000 years would have passed in that room. 
Even though so many years would have passed, Goku and Gohan were still alive. Their bodies would not have changed absolutely nothing. The only thing that would change would be their mentality and their strength. When the time chamber was destroyed by the gods of destruction, somehow Goku and Gohan were still alive. The dimension of that room was still preserved, perhaps the work of some strange force. The only thing that can be known is that time is paralyzed in that place. Therefore, their bodies do not age, and they do not feel any kind of hunger. Goku, the first a hundred years, managed to control the mastered Ultra Instinct to a hundred percent. After a few more years, he would achieve a new transformation. This was the Super Saiyan 3 Ascended. Goku would teach his son Gohan how to obtain the transformation with the Mastered Ultra Instinct. After Gohan managed to master the Mastered Ultra Instinct to perfection, another 100 years would have passed. The two Saiyans would be on par with each other in terms of power. If it wasn't for you, father, I would never have obtained this great power. Since you gave me your knowledge to become a god. One question, father. Do you think this is our limit? Gohan, we Saiyans have no limits to our strength. I'm sure that after this transformation, a more powerful one will follow. How can you be so sure of that, father? I don't know. I'm just guessing. We should try something. I want you to fight me with all your power. If you say so, father, I will. Gohan would transform into Super Saiyan 3 Ascended. Goku would also do the same. The two Saiyans would begin to have an extremely fast and brutal fight. A mortal or inexperienced god would not be able to see this great battle. Suddenly, Gohan would throw a powerful blow to Goku in the face that would make him retreat too much. Goku would have drawn some blood from his mouth, but he would wipe it off. Your brute strength is not bad, son, but how about your inner strength? Goku would use his new ability, Eternal Divine Prison. A prison full of divine ki would have fallen on Gohan. In these 221 years apart from making me stronger, I have also experienced new techniques that could help me in the future. For example, this, Eternal Divine Prison, not only restricts the divine power, but also absorbs it. Gohan's divine ki would begin to be absorbed by the strange ability of his father. What does this mean, father? Because you locked me in this. Son, don't you want to become stronger? Get out of my eternal prison. A great part of Gohan's power would have been absorbed by this prison. Goku would use mental power to make the gravity of the place increase 10,000 times more. The room would become completely red. I can't feel my body. My breathing has stopped. Perhaps my father has betrayed me after all this time. Father, take me out of this place. M my body can't take it anymore. Gohan would start to scream because of the pain, thus seeing flashbacks of his past before he was locked up. Gohan, forgive me. The only way to know if we can have a new transformation is with you. You are the only Saiyan I know who can increase his fighting level so fast. Maybe in the future you will hate me, but I hope you understand that. Gohan's divine power would have been reduced to zero, thus returning to his base state. Gohan's eyes would turn white while he had an illusion of his daughter and wife being happy in a place outside of that room. What's wrong? Did I leave the room? Fidel, I'm glad you guys are okay. Apparently, Gohan had fallen into a mental illusion because he had run out of divine key. Several minutes passed and Gohan was still in that momentary illusion. Goku wondered many things. Maybe I was wrong about my son. He couldn't get out of the eternal prison. Meanwhile, Gohan continued living his life happily, when suddenly several gods of destruction appeared, killing his daughter and his wife. This can't be true. It can't be that this is happening to me. Gohan inside the illusion would begin to release a great power. Many rays would fall inside his body. The illusion would be completely broken. Goku would be able to remove his ability, when suddenly a part of the dimension would begin to tremble. 
Gohan would let out a loud scream, saying, Damn gods, I will make them suffer for the death of my family. Gohan's eyes would have turned a shade of red, while a purple key would fall on him. The eternal prison was breaking, little by little. What about my son? He's expelling immense power. I wasn't wrong about him. I'd better get out of here quickly. Goku's eternal prison would break completely. Gohan's blue hair would have changed to a shade of purple. His eyes would change to a shade of red. Apparently, Gohan would have obtained the Super Saiyan Purple God. Gohan's key veins were throbbing strongly. Gohan, who was full of anger, would have lost consciousness, thus starting to attack Goku. Even though Goku was far away, it wouldn't take long Gohan to get close, thus starting to hit him over and over again. Goku would start screaming from the pain, thus telling his son to calm down, but Gohan wouldn't react, thus grabbing Goku by the neck. Goku would throw several energy balls in his face, but they had no effect against the Saiyan. My son's body became so resistant, if I don't escape from his hands, I fear I will lose my life for my own son. Goku's ki would start to glow strongly, leaving Gohan blind for a few seconds. Gohan would let go of Goku and squeeze his eyes. After 5 seconds, Gohan's sight would have returned to normal. The only thing Goku could do was to use his speed to escape from his son, since no skill or strange technique he possessed at that moment would be useful to him. From Gohan's hand would have come out a small key sphere. This key sphere contained a great level of energy. Goku felt that if this energy ball hit him, it could end his life. The energy ball would be thrown against the Saiyan, but when he was about to be hit, the energy ball would have disappeared. Some red rays would have started to come out of Gohan's body. He would start touching his head while he started to fly senselessly. Gohan's power would start to go down more and more. Apparently, his body was not ready for that transformation yet. His body would return to its base state and then he would faint. This time, I was saved by miracle. My son could not control that transformation. Maybe it will take him a few more years. But the only thing I know is that if I get that transformation, I will also have a fearsome power. The a thousand years would have passed. Goku and Gohan after 1000 years would have finally managed to control this transformation to perfection. I can't believe that we've been in this place for a thousand years. After so long we finally managed to master the transformation of the Super Saiyan Purple God. I don't remember what it was like out there. I, I haven't seen the sunlight in a long time and my memories are still blurry. I feel like I'm forgetting the people that I really care about. Son, I also feel the same way. But the only thing that has kept me going all these years is the hatred I feel for those gods. Besides, we also need to find the culprit that made us stay in this place for so long. Because naturally this is impossible. The world of the strong hides many secrets. Son, are you ready to finally leave this horrible place? Yes, father, I'm ready. Goku and Gohan would use the Super Saiyan Purple God, thus increasing all their power. The time chamber would start to shake uncontrollably. At first, it seemed that nothing was happening, when suddenly, the dimension of the time chamber began to break down little by little. Suddenly, a portal would have been created. Father, look at that! We're finally succeeding in destroying this horrible place! Listen to me, Gohan. When I count three, we will jump into that portal and we will finally be free. I ask that when we go out, you return to your base state. One, two, and three! Goku and Gohan, after increasing their powers, would have jumped into the portal. After the two of them crossed the portal, it would have closed, thus taking them to Universe 6. These two Saiyans were in outer space, to then cover their body with a thin layer of ki to be able to breathe. Father, we have finally succeeded. Goku and Gohan would be in their base state. No god or angel would feel any strange anomaly in the universe. Son, I think it is time for revenge. First, we will go to visit the God of Universe 6. 
Goku and Gohan would have flown at great speed to the planet of Champa, arriving in just minutes. A crater would have been created on the ground of that planet. Champa, who was resting, would have felt that little tremor, so he asked his angel Vados to go and see what was happening. Vados, if it is Kaba or some of those, tell them that I don't feel like talking right now. I am very tired. As you say, Mr. Champa, Vados would have gone out of Champa's room to go outside. The outside was full of smoke. I don't know who you are, but Mr. Kampa doesn't want to see them today, so I suggest them to leave. Goku would start laughing. <laughs> We're not leaving here. We've been waiting for this day for a long time. Goku and Gohan would have come out of the smoke. Vados would be very surprised to see them. Isn't he the Saiyan of Universe 7? How the hell is he alive? And his son seems to be alive too. I saw how that place was destroyed by the gods. They should not exist anymore. Vados would clench his fist tightly. I'm sorry, but I can't move from here. My rules as an angel are to protect my god if necessary. Although I believe that you're not a threat, you're only a hindrance. How can you be so sure of that? Son, just watch me. I myself will finish this with this angel who doesn't know his place. Goku would have transformed into the purple Super Saiyan God. Even though Goku's energy was so strong, at that moment it would have caught he felt anywhere since Goku knew how to hide it very well. You think that because your hair changed color I will be afraid of you? Vados would control himself against Goku. The angel would hit Goku in the neck. You better go to sleep until soon. The big punch would hit Goku's neck, but Goku would go on like nothing. What's the matter? Normally he would have fall to the ground. Because my punch didn't do anything to him. That's all you got, Angel? I just felt tickled. Goku would kick Vados in the face. The Angel would barely be able to dodge that kick. Why did I have such a hard time dodging that? What the hell has he become? What the hell has he become? How has he become so strong? A mortal shouldn't have this power. Goku and Vados began to have an intense battle, where Goku looked superior in many aspects. Angel, you really are so weak. For wanting to protect your god, you will pay the price. Goku would begin to charge a ball of energy, and this ball of energy felt a lot of accumulated power. Great purple energy! The energy ball would go against forwards, she would use her two hands to try to stop it, but it was impossible. The angel was being dragged by the small energy ball. I will not lose my life so easily. Vados would start screaming to deflect the energy ball. This energy ball would impact several nearby planets, thus creating a huge explosion. More than 20 planets of a colossal size were eliminated in just seconds. The destructive power of this energy ball is not normal, because someone who was considered dead is still alive? This doesn't make any sense. It's only been three years after that event. I have to get serious. Vados, after realizing the immense power that Goku carried, would have started to increase his energy, thus letting the Saiyan see the true power of an angel when he's angry. In just a few moments, she would have moved through Goku in order to hit him from behind. But despite the angel's great speed, Goku was able to keep up with her. If you think that because you increased your power you could beat me, you are very wrong. Vados raised his staff to the sky, creating more than 2,000 copies of it. My staff can be able to penetrate the heart of the strongest person. Try to dodge this. More than 2,000 staffs would have passed over Goku, but Goku with his hands alone would begin to deflect them one by one until he reached the real one. After Goku tried to grab the real staff, the other 2,000 would have disappeared. When Goku would try to grab the staff, he would start to feel great pressure due to the power the staff had. Why is this angel staff so heavy? It's a bit difficult for me to carry it. A dirty mortal like you can never be the bearer of my staff, let alone steal it from an angel. You don't need to say that. My purple energy is not compatible with the staff. I think it's a price for obtaining this great power, but that doesn't matter. I will return it to you. Goku, even though it was hard for him to lift the staff, would have lifted it, thus starting to spin it with it. 
the staff would be launched against Fados at great speed. This angel did not give him time to react to hold the staff again, thus impregnating some energy in his body so that it would be resistant. The staff would impact against him, causing this angel to shoot against the Champa house. The god who was sleeping would have woken up, wondering what was this big noise? Why are they making so much noise? I told them to let me sleep. Vados, who was on the ground and a little hurt, would say, Mr. Champa, they're back, and they're back stronger than ever. Vados, what are you talking about? Who has returned and what happened to you because you're in that state? Goku knocked on Champa's destroyed door. There's someone there. I've come to visit you. Hey God, you remember me? I was the mortal you eliminated. Champa, after hearing the Saiyan's voice, got really scared. This can't be true. Because you are alive? I'm sure we eliminated you with our powers. I see you want us to eliminate you again? It's a pity the other two gods are not here, but they are not necessary. Hey God, you better think twice. You're no match for me. Just look how I left your angel. Vados got up, healing his wounds with the help of his staff. He's not lying, Mr. Champa. That scene from Universe 7 has overwhelming power. An escape is not an option. We'll have to visit them both off together. Champa was starting to sweat. I don't know how you got so strong, but don't think I'm going to escape. Champa would throw himself against Goku, thus starting to hit him again and again. But Goku continued as if nothing. Not a millimeter of his body moved for the blows that this god was giving him. Goku would start to smile. You, along with your angel, are too weak. The Saiyan had grabbed Champa's neck to start hitting him in the face. Hey, you let go of me! What do you think you're doing? I can't breathe! Goku would squeeze Champa harder and harder, thus bringing him flashbacks of the past. I've suffered for so many years. I'm not going to let go of you, just like that. You bastard! Champa would increase the power of his body, starting to use Hakai energy. The god would somehow manage to break free from Goku's body and soar into the sky, creating a super ball of Hakai energy in his hand. Go back the way you came! The Hakai energy ball would have fallen on Goku, Champa, confident that he had eliminated Goku, would start laughing. <laughs> he was just a weakling. I don't know why you had so much trouble with him. Did my father die because of that energy ball? No, that's impossible. Now that your father is dead, you're going to be next. Champa would be about to go against Gohan, but suddenly the whole planet would start to shake uncontrollably. Goku would have come out from under the earth along with the Hakai energy ball. Goku with his two hands would have started to compress it, thus disappearing the energy completely. He is still alive, it's impossible. And besides, he eliminated my Hakai energy ball. God, you better give up. You can't handle my great power. You shut the fuck up, you were nobody. I am a god, just understand that. Champa, very furious, would throw himself again against Goku, thus using 100% of his power. The two beings would move at a great speed, thus exchanging a few blows. The planets of the nearby places would begin to collapse. The beings of those planets would wonder what was happening. Out of nowhere, a clash of fists would begin. Although Champa exerted great pressure on his fists, Goku would beat him without any problem thus giving him a strong blow in the face that would send him flying. Goku would teleport to kick him in the back and then send him into the air and give him a blow with both hands, so that he would fall to the ground dejected. Champa would fall to the ground creating a large crater. The god, unlike the angel, could not be able to heal his wounds. Have I lost to a mortal? This makes no sense at all. Before you die, I will make you suffer a little. Eternal Divine Prison! A pressure would have fallen on Champa. The god would start screaming from the pain. His god power was being absorbed little by little. What the hell is this thing? My body is not able to move. Gohan, seeing the Eternal Prison, it would give him a little shiver just remembering it. To think that my father would use one of the cruelest techniques against that god, he really hates him. The screams of Champa did not stop sounding. This god would start asking his angel Vados for help. 
Vados, please help me! I can't stand this! But when Vados was about to help him, Goku would look at her with a very intimidating face. If you move one more step, I will end your life. Champa's screams would have stopped. His body would have turned to cosmic dust. There was nothing left of what it was. A purple dust would be seen on the floor, but it would be blown away thanks to the wind. Vados would clench his fists. Mr. Champa has lost his life, and I could do nothing. He single-handedly sought his death, and now you are next. Wait a moment, don't eliminate me yet. If you want, I can serve you, just as I did with Mr. Champa. An angel begging for his life. How curious, but I cannot spare your life. Since when I was eliminated, you only saw me die while you smiled. So you will also have the same destiny. We could not reach an agreement, so I will have to give everything. This technique consumes all my energy, but it is preferable to lose my life. The body of Vados would be filled with golden energy. Suddenly, the sky would have become dark, thus falling many lightning bolts. A giant angel in spiritual form would have made its presence known. I hadn't used my strongest technique for a long time, but no one has been able to escape alive after I used it. The angel would have raised his hand so that it would have fallen on Goku. Goku would have held the hand with two hands, but this giant angel would start to exert more pressure thus saying, ENERGY OF THE FINAL JUDGMENT! The giant angel's hands would have turned golden. The energy that was in his hand would have passed into the Saiyan's body. Goku's bones would start to rattle a little bit. All that angel energy is coming through my body. My key veins are getting damaged. Suddenly, Goku's feet would have fallen on the ground. My body is not able to withstand this energy. If I don't think of something fast, I might be in big trouble. Hey, Angel, you forgot that my father is not alone. He has me. I see that my father still needs to master the purple transformation, even though 1,000 years have passed. I can master this transformation much better. Gohan would have transformed into a state as a purple Super Saiyan God, thus throwing himself against a giant angel. The angel would have used his left hand to crush Gohan's body, using the same ability that was used against his father. Do you intend to damage my body with that angel energy? The angel would exert pressure against Gohan, but unlike his father, Gohan would rise from the ground, thus throwing a ball of energy against the hand. This ball of energy would have shattered the angel's left hand, and for some unknown reason, his hand was not able to rebuild itself. That mortal may have been able to damage my technique's hand, and the doomsday energy did not affect it at all. Suddenly, Gohan with a single kick would have removed the giant hand that was subduing his father. Father, leave this to me. The purple energy you still cannot be able to control it so well. I didn't think this day would come. My son being stronger than me? I see that the 1,000 years were still not enough. I need to know the secrets of the purple energy. Goku would return to his base state. It's okay, son. Take care of this. Just don't take too long. Don't worry, father. This will be very brief. You've got a big ego boost just because you were able to make my technique lose a hand? Don't get so arrogant. Let's get this over with. Infernal, purple Asura fist! Gohan's fist would be filled with a great energy, thus beginning to run at high speed. The angel to see the large amount of energy that Gohan brought in his fist would use his only hand to try to defend himself from that great attack. Suddenly, Gohan's fist would impact against the giant angel. His spirit would begin to break into a thousand pieces. My technique is being defeated by a mortal. It, it can't be possible. The giant angel would have completely disappeared, leaving Vados very exhausted. My angelic power has been exhausted. I didn't want to escape, but I have no other choice. I'll have to communicate with my father. Gohan, finish it at once. Don't let him communicate with anyone. As you say, father, Gohan would charge a Super Kamehameha, thus launching it against Vados. Before the Kamehameha hit Vados, she, with her last strength, fired a blast of energy out of the planet. The energy would hit Vados. His body would turn to dust, just like his god. Gohan would return to his base state. Father, the gods and angels, at least these ones, were very weak. I know, son, but we have already finished with two of them. Now we only need the rest. By the way, father, that angel, before dying, launched a burst of energy. 
Don't you think that could bring us problems in the future? That doesn't matter, son. If all the gods and angels want to come for us, let them come. There's no reason to fear them. This time, I was a little confident in the fight, but in the future, I won't do it anymore. Well, father, let's go to Universe 7. I want to know what happened to the Earth after three years. Goku and Gohan would have left that planet to return to their universe. Meanwhile, in another place, the energy ball of Vados would reach Universe 11, thus impacting against Belmont's planet. Margarita, check what has fallen on my planet. As you command, Margarita would go to the crater that would leave the energy ball. This is too strange. I do not feel the presence of any strange being, but I feel a small essence very familiar. This is the energy of the Angel of Universe 6. Because it has come to my universe, I better call her to ask what happened. I better call her to ask what happened. Margarita would call the Angel Vados, but when trying to communicate with her, she would not answer. This is very strange because my sister does not answer my call. I'll have to visit her personally. Margarita would go to the god Belmood to inform him about what happened. Well, that's very strange. To be honest, I don't like to be visiting other universes for no reason, but this time I guess it's something important. The two beings would have flown out of their universes to go to Universe 6. It would have been about 10 minutes to be exact. The god along with his angel would arrive at the planet of Champa. What happened here because everything is devastated? Belmud would start shouting the name of Champa, but in spite of doing it, nobody answered. Perhaps that useless person has lost his life, because I can't feel his presence anywhere. This place is a disaster. Apparently there was a very recent fight. While Margarita was looking for her sister, she would find the staff of her deceased sister. Lord Belmud, apparently my sister's staff is here, but she is nowhere to be found. An angel can't leave without her staff? I, I don't want to think the worst, but somehow someone could have beaten her in a battle. That would explain the disappearance of those two beings. But what being has the power to do it? This is the first time that an angel is eliminated. I'll have to inform my father about this. This can't stay like this. I won't allow it. When I find the culprit, I will tear him to pieces and take revenge for my sister's life. The god Belmud, together with the angel Margarita, would go to the palace of Zenosama. Since they could not explain what had happened, once they arrived, the guards would have stopped them. What are you doing here? To come to this place, you need special permission from the great Senosama. That does not matter now, I need you to bring my father here. I have to tell him something. Thy Shinkan, seeing such a commotion, he would have arrived without anyone calling him. Father, I need to inform you of something. You don't need to tell me anything, daughter. I could also feel it. One of my precious sons has lost his life. I have tried to use my power to see what happened in the planet of the god Champa, but I can't see the culprit. This is a matter that can't be overlooked. If you find the culprit, use this button to call me. I will come immediately. Daishinkan would have thrown the special button to Margarita. She, together with the god Belmud, would have left the palace of Zenosama. Meanwhile, on Earth, Goku and Gohan had just arrived on Earth and formed a large crater in the ground. The arrival of the two would have caused a small tremor in the entire planet Earth. This place has not changed much in three years. Krillin, who was training, would have felt the great key of these two beings. Who are these two people? I feel that they have a great level of power. But long time ago, several warriors have lost their lives for not following the orders of the god Beerus. Although I cannot do much, I will go to see who they are. Krillin would go to the scene and would take a big surprise. It cannot be true. You're still alive. I thought they had lost their lives. Hi, Krillin. Yes, it's been a long time. It's been many years since we've seen each other. Hey, I need you to tell me something. I'm trying to feel the key of my other friends because I can't feel them. Goku and Gohan, maybe this news will affect you a little, but I have to tell you. About three years ago, we found out that Mr. Beerus was one of the culprits of their deaths. So he gave us a warning. If we did anything that could harm him in the future, we were going to pay the consequences. We were all filled with fear, but after six months of training, we decided to face him together. Flashback to the past. So you were guilty of Kakarot's death? Don't think this is going to stay like that. Vegeta would have transformed into Super Saiyan Blue Max, 
thus launching himself against Beerus. Vegeta would start hitting Beerus again and again, but this god would stop his blows with both hands and without any problem. You will need more than that to defeat me. Beerus would grab Vegeta's hand to whip him to the ground and then give him a kick in the ribs, which would send him flying. Vegeta, despite having received great damage from Beerus, would get up again and charge one last flash. The final flash would go against the god, but with one hand he would deflect it completely to get in front of Vegeta, and with the tip of his hand he would give him a small blow on his forehead. Vegeta would be unconscious for a few seconds, but he would regain consciousness without any problem after only 3 seconds. How the hell is he so strong? Even though I'm using almost all my power, I still can't fight him. Vegeta, you better give up. You can't do anything against me. He's right, but I have to keep on fighting. Suddenly, when Vegeta was about to attack Beerus again, the rest of the Z warriors they would launch to attack him. But Beerus, without any problem, would leave them injured. Six months ago, I gave you a warning, but I see that you don't learn. I will have to give you a more severe punishment. Beerus would start to eliminate several of the Z warriors. When only Krillin was left, Vegeta would scream to stop him. Stop once and for all! Don't eliminate anyone else! Ha ha ha! If you ask me to, I won't do it. Why don't we make this fight more interesting? Beerus would grab Balma's neck, thus using mental power to keep Balma in the air. God, don't you dare touch my wife! I'm warning you! And if I don't want to, what will happen? Die, mortal. Hakai! Balma would scream. Her body would turn into dust completely. Vegeta would be totally shocked when he saw this. Vegeta, he would start to back up while touching his head. This can't be happening. My beloved wife, Balma. He eliminated her without further ado. Suddenly, from Vegeta's body, many rays would start to come out. A purple energy would be present, thus Vegeta obtaining the Ultra Ego. Beerus seeing this would be very surprised. That mortal managed to activate the energy of the gods of destruction? How is that possible? Vegeta, who could not control his anger, would throw himself against Beerus at great speed to start hitting him, but unlike the other time, his blows were much stronger, thus making the gods start to cover himself from his attacks. Was able to increase his power instantly just because he got angry. Ending his life could be a waste. It will be better to keep him alive. Suddenly, Vegeta would give Beerus a very powerful kick, which would knock him back completely. Bursts of energies were coming out of Vegeta's hands, but even though Vegeta would have managed to get the god's power, his power was not strong enough to make Beerus get serious. The god would launch a ball of Akai energy against Vegeta. The Saiyan would use his two hands to stop it, but as he tried to do so, his body would lose more and more strength. I will make you my servant, Vegeta. Mental possession slavery without limits. The ability would have fallen on Vegeta, so his body would become totally immobile. Beerus would make his Hakai energy disappear, while Vegeta internally tried to struggle not to be controlled. The transformation of the Ultra Ego would be lost in Vegeta's body, thus returning to his base state. Mr. Beerus, to think that you used such a cruel technique against the Vegeta Saiyan. He asked for it. Besides, now I know the potential he has in the future. If I train him well, he could be useful to me. More than three minutes have passed and Vegeta still doesn't fall into his mind control. He still resists, but it won't take long for him to give in to my mind control. Meanwhile, inside Vegeta, in that place you could see thousands of copies of the god Beerus cornering the Saiyan. My memories are being lost. I can't be controlled. But despite Vegeta's will, his body would be controlled by the God of Destruction. Apparently you succeeded, Mr. Beerus. Beerus, after controlling Vegeta, would laugh loudly. <laughs> Apparently I got something very valuable today. Thanks to Vegeta's sacrifice, I will spare the lives of all mankind. Do not cause me any more problems. The God would leave the planet with Vegeta. End of flashback. So that's what happened. Balma also lost her life because of that god. I have to avenge her. Gohan, reunite with your family. I will reunite with your mother. Tomorrow, we will leave to the planet of Mr. Beerus. Goku would go to Chi-Chi's house, knocking on the door. She would have come out like this, starting to hug Goku, rejoicing that he was still alive. Her son, Goten, would also do the same. At that time, Chi-Chi had to take care of Trunks. Father, 
How are you alive? Miss Balma used the dragon spheres and said that your body had been eliminated along with my brother's body. It's a long story. Goku would start telling everything to Goten, Chi Chi, and Trunks. Meanwhile, Gohan would arrive at Videl's house. Unlike his father, he wouldn't have the same luck. Krillin didn't tell him the rest of his story, since he didn't know how Gohan would react. Apparently, his wife and daughter died at the hands of that god. When he got home, he would find a letter on the floor. The more he read the letter, the more he could not hold back his tears. Videl knew that if she faced that god, she would lose her life, but she did it anyway. This is not fair in any way. I will make him pay. Suddenly Gohan's house would explode completely and a very intense purple light would come out of it. Gohan would use the purple Super Saiyan. Gohan's ki would be felt in almost all universes. The other gods would be very shocked at such powerful ki. Goku who was talking to his family would leave his house immediately, thus flying to Gohan at great speed. Goku would arrive and ask Gohan to calm down, but Gohan did not pay attention. He was very angry. Father, don't try to stop me. That god killed my daughter and Videl. I have to avenge them. I will make him pay. Okay, Gohan, as you wish. Gohan, together with Goku, would fly at high speeds towards Beerus's planet. It would take them only three minutes to arrive. While they were arriving, Whis would wake up very alert. I feel two key approaching at high speed. One of them has a huge power because my body trembles. Who are these two people? Beerus would also wake up. Whis, you feel that? I can feel it. You better get ready. I feel a strong, killer energy, especially in one of them. Beerus and Whis would go outside their house, thus waiting for the two beings of great power. Goku and Gohan would soon arrive, thus creating a big explosion for their arrival. God, you will pay for what you did to my daughter and my wife. God, you will pay for what you did to my daughter and wife. That appearance cannot be possible. You are the son of Goku. How is it that you are still alive? And if you are still alive, I guess Goku is also still alive. Goku would have come out behind Gohan, leaving the God of Destruction impressed. Beerus, you better get ready. My son is very angry, and even I can't control him. You should never have messed with us. What a moment. Because I feel that your son has enormous power. How the hell did you become so strong? You were dead. Why are you still here alive? Damn God, stop asking yourself questions. What you did to my daughter and my wife, I will never forgive you. I've been reborn from the dead just to take your head. And that is something I will accomplish today. Certainly, now you look more powerful because of your purple hair. But don't be so smug. You'll never beat a god. Whis, I'll finish him off myself. You don't need to get involved. You said you were reborn from the dead? Well, I hope you'll never be reborn mortal again. Beerus would have increased his power, thus using 20%. The god would throw himself against Gohan, giving him a punch in the face. But Gohan, who was very angry, would not move even an inch, thus squeezing the god's hand to then whip him against the floor. The body of the god would be thrown far away, but Gohan would move very fast to give him a punch in the back. This would go on like this for a minute. Beerus could do absolutely nothing. You should never have done that to my wife, because I loved her so much. Who gives you the right to take her life? Gohan would charge a Kamehameha, like this, throwing it to the god. But Whis, seeing this, would get in front of him to deflect it. Sir Beerus, now he needs help. Whis, I asked you not to get involved. I can handle this. As he is so strong, I was not able to do anything to him using my 20%. Will it be the first time I tremble for a mortal? I can't let myself be humiliated like that. Beerus would get up very quickly to stand in front of Gohan. The god would use the Hakai against Gohan, but this would not have affected him at all. The power of the gods has no effect on you, because you didn't disappear. God, I am much stronger than you. You are just a simple piece of garbage. Gohan would hit Beerus in the stomach using his purple Asura Fist. The blow would be so strong that Beerus' internal bones would break almost completely. The god who couldn't even use his 100% was lying on the ground very humiliated. Gohan would hit his face again and again. Every blow he gave to the god only caused him more anger for the death of his wife. 
Beerus, who was tired of being prey to Gohan's attacks, would close his eyes momentarily to use his 100%. The energy of the god would have been seen throughout the Universe 7. The planet of Beerus would begin to be destroyed by such energy. Gohan would back out by his own instinct. I can't believe that a mortal who seeks revenge made me use 100% of my power? My internal body is very hurt. The god would spit blood. Suddenly steam would come out of his body. The bones that were broken would have been almost completely rebuilt. Let's see who will be the humiliated one now. Beerus and Gohan would start having an intense fight. The surrounding planets would explode for every hit these two beings gave. You are not doing bad for a mortal. You might be able to keep up with me. The god would create a ball of Hakai energy to lock Gohan inside it. But despite what the god thought, this ball of energy would not have had any effect on him. Why the hell aren't you screaming from the pain? Gohan with only one hand would have broken the ball of Hakai energy to grab the neck of the god. You can be able to feel this pain. You eliminated two innocent people. You do not deserve to be called God. I recognize you are very strong, perhaps the strongest opponent I have faced, but your wife only sought her death. If I die today, you will also go with me. You bastard, I will use my last ability. The place would shake more than normal. Out of nowhere in the place would have appeared a huge snake. From this would come out great power. The snake to see Beerus in trouble would use its giant tail to hit the body of Gohan. The Saiyan would retreat only a few inches while wondering what was that huge thing that appeared in the place. So Mr. Beerus has used his last trump card. Summoning that snake wears out a lot of his key, but there's no denying that in this fight we already know who will be the winner. There's no way he can beat the snake of destruction, no matter how powerful that young man is. The snake would start attacking Gohan, using its head to try to eat him, but Gohan would dodge its attacks very easily. Suddenly, the snake would start moving its tail, creating a sound that paralyzed anyone who heard it. Goku, who was in a base state, would be totally paralyzed. What's wrong with my body? I can't be able to move it. Is it because of that sound? I think I should have used at least one transformation to avoid this kind of situation. Beerus, who was using his mental power to control the Snake of Destruction, would realize that Goku could not be able to move even a muscle of his body. Mortal, first I will finish with your father, and then I will finish with you. The Snake would launch a Hakai energy ball from his mouth. When the energy ball was about to hit Goku, Gohan would move at great speed to give him a kick, which would completely deflect the energy ball. God, this fight is between you and me! How is it possible the sound of destruction has no effect on you? You must have been totally paralyzed just like your father. At that moment, Beerus would realize that the mortal in front of him was not a normal person. For him, he was almost invincible. I spent so much key on this snake, and his power has no effect on you? The snake would have coiled around Gohan's body to squeeze it tightly. Suddenly, the snake would explode, leaving the planet Beerus almost completely destroyed. After the smoke was gone, Gohan's body, along with his key, would have disappeared. The god would laugh. <laughs> in the end, you couldn't beat me. I hope you and your wife meet in hell. It's true that his soul no longer exists. <laughs> the god who was confident would walk together with his angel so that he could heal his wounds. But when he least expected it, Gohan would have appeared behind the god of destruction. The angel Whis would shout to warn him, but it was too late. Gohan with his hand would pierce the chest of the God of Destruction. The God would spit blood while little by little he would lose his vision. Gohan would remove his hand from Beerus' chest. The God would fall to the ground in agony while Gohan stepped on his head. Your worst mistake was to mess with the people I love the most, and now I will choose your destiny. You will go neither to heaven nor to hell. You will turn to dust along with your brother. Eternal, divine prison! The ability would have fallen on Beerus. The god who was almost dying wondered what that prison was. His soul would begin to be destroyed while he was screamed in pain. After a few seconds, his body would turn to dust. Only the ashes of that god could be seen. Gohan would pick up those ashes of dust and walk slowly against Whis. The same destiny awaits you too. 
Gohan would throw the dust of Beerus into endless space. Whis would be totally shocked by everything he witnessed. He was able to withstand a fight against Lord Beerus? And if that wasn't enough, he has almost no scratches on his body. He continues as if nothing. No doubt he won't be someone so easy to defeat. The snake of destruction in the world of the gods was a very strong beast capable of bringing anyone to his knees. But that young man was not affected by any of it? What if I run away from this place? Whis would start to question so many things in his head. He knew perfectly well that he didn't have any advantage. It was a win or lose. But if he wanted to escape, it was almost impossible. Gohan's speed was too fast. The only thing he could do was to try his luck fighting him. Besides, he also had mixed feelings about the death of the Destroyer God. To think that we had so much time together, and now you just left. I promise you that I will try to end the life of that mortal. Whis, now you will be the next one to lose your life. You saw what I am capable of, so don't hold back. Sample your true power. I won't rest until I see all of you dead. Meanwhile, in the place of Zenosama, Daishinkan, who was doing his usual chores, was very surprised after feeling that enormous key. Who is this person? How is someone capable of having so much power? Maybe he is the one to blame for the death of my daughter. I will have to check it. If I let my sons fight against him, possibly he will end up ending the lives of everyone. I guess I will have to take care of him myself. Mr. Zenosama, you will excuse me, I have some business to do. So I'll be back a little late. Anyway, I will call you if it is necessary for you to finish with the life of this guy. I understand what you're telling me, Daishinkan. Good luck. Daishinkan would fly away from Zenosama's palace to the planet of Beerus. Meanwhile, in another universe, the god Belmud would also feel the enormous key, who would remain motionless for a few minutes while sweat would fall from his body. Margarita, how is someone capable of having so much power? Mr. Belmud, I think we found the person responsible for my sister's death. Besides, I feel that my father is moving at great speed right now to Universe 7. Do you think they have something to do with all this commotion? We will have to find out. We cannot stay with our hands crossed. I am a little afraid of the power of this being, but we are going there anyway. They would also go to Universe 7, while on the planet of Beerus. I guess I have no choice but to fight you. Whis would throw himself against Gohan. The two beings would start to have a very fast fight. Gohan would hit Whis from behind, but he would deflect it with both hands. Gohan would throw key blasts against Whis, but this angel would dodge them very easily. Maybe you are stronger now, but don't forget that I trained with your father, and if somehow you became so strong training with him, I know what your weak points could be. Whis, not to trust even a little, would have activated his ultra instinct as an angel. His eyes would turn silver while his speed would become faster. Even Whis was about to hit Gohan again. He would feel the presence of his father approaching at high speed. The angel would stop. Gohan seeing that Whis stopped would have given him a punch in the face. What's wrong, angel? Why do you stay still? Don't be a coward and attack me. Whis would mentally think, so my father managed to find out everything. I just have to resist until he comes. Whis would start smiling. Son, be careful. He just trusted himself. I think something very bad is about to happen. I think something very bad is about to happen. Gohan, despite his father's warnings, would throw himself against the angel again. Gohan's blows were so fast that Whis's ultra instinct could barely dodge them. I just need a little more time for my father to arrive. Whis began to impregnate some angel power in his staff so that it would be heavier and have more strength. The angel would move very fast to hit the arms of the Saiyan with his staff, but Gohan would have supported this attack as if nothing. Suddenly, a giant angel wings would have left the body of Whis. From these wings would have left more than a thousand sharp feathers of white color. Whis, with his mental power, would have created a whirlwind with the feathers of his wings. What the hell is that thing? I feel a great amount of power in that whirlwind. I'd better get away from it. Gohan would have stepped back so the whirlwind wouldn't hit him. But it was too late. The he would have fallen inside the whirlwind. More than a thousand wings with a very sharp edge were cutting him all over his body. Ha ha ha! What's wrong? You can't be able to move because of my ability? I also have some tricks to hold back people like you. 
arrogant mortal, you will pay for the death of Lord Beerus, and you should have never messed with us. Goku wanted to fight to help his son, but Gohan would have stopped him. Listen to me, Angel. This simple whirlwind will not stop me. The whirlwind would start getting smaller, thus leaving Gohan in a life or death situation. Gohan would have closed his eyes while increasing his power more. The purple energy he had would have permeated his body. The feathers on Whis's wings wouldn't affect him at all. Gohan would come out of the whirlwind as if nothing had happened. Apparently his wounds would have healed mysteriously. These things are just child's play. Gohan would throw himself against Whis to give him a very strong blow on the head. This would make Whis lose consciousness momentarily. His whirlwind would have disappeared. The angel would be lying on the ground. Gohan grab Whis's neck. That's all you have? Why don't you fight seriously against me? You're like your god, so weak. Just disappear. Gohan was able to eliminate the body of Whis, but suddenly in the sky a very intimidating voice could be heard. That voice would leave Gohan paralyzed for a few seconds. What do you think you're doing to my son, you bastard? You better stop right now, or else you will know the consequences. Gohan, at that moment, he couldn't recognize the imposing voice that was sounding. Tell me who you are. If you don't want me to hurt your son, come down from wherever you are and force me. In this world, only the strong have the right to rule. Gohan, in spite of the warning of the imposing voice, started with load an energy ball in his hands. But the being that was unknown at the time would have thrown an energy ball to stop Gohan's attack. I told you to stop. The sky of Beerus' planet would have split in two. Daishinkan would have come out of there with an angry face. Father, you finally came. I did what I could, but look how he left me. Besides, he also eliminated Lord Beerus. Have no pity on him. I see it, and I don't believe it. So the one responsible for the death of my daughter is the son of the Saiyan Goku? I don't know how you were able to obtain that strength, but you're not worthy of it. Daishinkan would continue talking, but as he continued talking, he would realize something very strange. Hey, wait a minute. How were you able to obtain the legendary purple power? Those reddish eyes don't fool me. You are a bearer of the legendary purple power. I thought that power was lost thousands of years ago. <laughs> now I have more reasons to end your pathetic life. If I manage to absorb your vital energy, I can keep the purple power. In this multiverse, the only being that can do what he pleases is me and the great Zenosama. You are just an ant that has broken the rules, and for that reason you need a severe punishment. I condemn you to the death penalty. So you come to steal my power and kill me? I don't think that will happen. I only seek revenge for the death of my wife, but if you get in my way, you will also get what you deserve. Stop being a talker and fight. Daishinkan was beginning to increase his power, but pressure felt in the place was too much. Goku, who was in base state, would find it hard to breathe too much. So that's the power of the strongest angel of all. It's really scary. I think this time Gohan won't be able to fight it. I'll just have to help him. Gohan, just like his father, would be surprised. He has a very fearsome power. His power does not compare with the power of his sons. This will not be so simple. Gohan would put purple energy in his right hand. Purple Asura Fist! The blow would go against the angel, but this with the tip of his hand would have stopped it completely. Authority from Angel, get down on your knees! Daishinkan would activate one of his abilities. This was the Angel Authority. Whatever this angel said under the power of this ability, the enemy had to do it. Kneel before my mortal. Gohan's legs would have started to move on their own. No! What's wrong with my body? I can't be able to control it. Sweat would start to fall on his face. Even though he didn't want to kneel down, his body would have started to move by itself. <laughs> it's fine for you to kneel down before me. I want you to understand your place. Keep looking at me from below. I'm not going to kneel down before anyone, especially not before someone like you. Daishinkan, seeing Gohan's words, would start kicking him in the face over and over again. Blood would come out of Gohan's mouth, but it would heal quickly. I see that your purple power helps you to heal your wounds quickly. Now that you can't do anything under my angel authority, I'm going to steal all that power you have. 
Someone as weak as you doesn't deserve to have it. Daishinkan would have put his hands on Gohan's head, but Goku would shout, Hey you, let go of my son! He's not the only one who can be able to master that power. Goku would start to increase his power, thus revealing his most powerful transformation, the Super Saiyan Purple God. It can't be possible. Two beings with that enormous power? Goku would stand in front of Daishinkan, squeezing his hand to let go of his son's head. Goku would slap him on the chest to make him retreat. Gohan, who was still under Daishinkan's ability, would still stand still. Son, get up. Are you going to let the power of a miserable angel control you? Remember why you are here! Suddenly, Gohan, even though he could not be able to get up, he would have stood up with a lot of effort. My authority as an angel is not working against him? No, it's not that. That he is making a lot of effort to stand up, but that doesn't matter now. Even if they are purple power bearers, they won't be able to beat me. I am much stronger than them. Son, let's finish with that angel. The two of us together. Gohan, even though he didn't want his father's help, he would have accepted since he had no other choice. The two Saiyans would have launched themselves against Daishinkan. A fight between the three beings of great power would have begun. The planets along with the stars would have started to explode. Belmud on its way to the Universe 7 would have felt this powerful fight. The god would have been very scared along with his angel. What's wrong with these levels of power? They don't make any sense at all. In the distance, he could see small shadows moving at high speed. Although he could not see well who those three subjects, his daisy angel, who could barely look because of the speed of the battle, would realize who were the two subjects with whom his father was fighting. Lord Belmud, the culprits of my sister's death are the saying that you yourself eliminated. What? What are you saying? I myself saw how that place turned to dust, along with his soul and body. A mortal can't be able to revive after a god eliminates him. Lord Belmud, trust me, I wouldn't be able to lie to you. They're both fighting with my father. But how is it possible? It was only three years after their deaths. How did they both get such power? Belmud could not believe that the Saiyan that he eliminated some years ago was still alive. I thought of so many powerful beings, but I didn't think it was those two. If your father is not able to beat them, our lives will be doomed. But it doesn't matter if he wins, I'm not going to give them my life. Meanwhile, Goku and Gohan, they both fought against Daishinkan. So being able to dodge some blows, you guys are not doing bad at all. But you lack more coordination. Daishinkan would grab the body of both Saiyan to throw them to the ground. But Goku would get up quickly to fight alone against Daishinkan. Don't think that because my son has lost so much power in his previous fights, you will be able to beat us. Goku would use his friend Krillin's technique to make Daishinkan lose his eyesight for a few seconds. You bastard! What did you do to my eyes? I can't be able to see anything! I didn't think that Krillin's technique would be useful at this moment. Goku would take advantage that Daishinkan had lost his vision, so he would go where his son was. Gohan, I know you don't have that much power left, but if we want to finish him, we'll have to make an attack together. What do you mean, father? Do you remember when we fought with Cell? Even though I was not alive, I was able to help you. But this time is different. I am here. I understand what you're trying to say. If you say so, I will do it. Gohan would stand up again to concentrate his power in the palm of his hand. Goku would also have done the same, thus creating a super Kamehameha of purple color. The two would have launched this devastating attack against the angel. Hardly Daishinkan could be able to recover his sight because to use his two hands to try to stop the great attack of Goku and Gohan? What happens with all this great amount of energy? Come on son, put a lot more power! The Kamehameha would have become much more powerful, thus being able to push back Daishinkan's body. The veins were coming out of his hands. They think they can defeat me with a combined attack between father and son? But I haven't even demonstrated my true capability. Never underestimate the power of the most powerful angel. Damn mortals! They think they can reach the stars without being able to fly? Burn stars, burn! Vibrate stages, vibrate! Power increases to 60%! Daishinkan's body would be filled with a very white aura. 
Goku and Gohan did seem such an increase of power, they would get a little scared, but they would still continue with their attack. But even though they put more power, Daishinka didn't even move a little bit. That's the best they have? The combinate attack would have fallen on the angel. Were we able to eliminate him? Gohan would return to his base state. His purple power had been completely exhausted. Both they would be very happy because they thought they had won. But not even a minute would pass when a laugh would echo throughout the place. That attack of yours didn't even make me any scratch. He's still alive? His power has no limits whatsoever. He's still alive. His power has no limit. But how is it possible that I gave too much power in that combined attack, but the attack didn't do anything to him? Father, I can't take it anymore. My energies are not recovering and the purple power that is in my body is fading. I think that even though I mastered the transformation of the Super Saiyan Purple God, I shouldn't have used for so long. Gohan would have spit blood. Son, resist. You still can't faint. If you do, you may never be able to avenge your wife. They thought they could defeat me by unifying their powers in a super attack? Well, they are wrong. Now what are they supposed to do? Your son is in a very bad state, and you alone, I don't think you can defeat me. This is a very good opportunity to steal the little purple energy that your son has left. Daishinkan would move quickly to where Gohan's injured body was, but Goku would stood in front of him. I won't let you touch my son, even if it costs me my life! Goku would hit Daishinkan in the stomach, but this blow would have no effect. Daishinkan would charge an energy ball to throw it to Goku. The Saiyan would fly thousands of meters away from the place, thus crashing to the ground. I can't believe a simple energy ball left me so badly wounded. I guess I'll use that. Goku would charge energy in his two hands, thus using eternal divine prison ability. Purple chains would have fallen from the sky while a large prison would have been placed on top of the angel. What is this thing supposed to be? In my years of existence, I've never seen such a fearsome ability. The prison would start draining the angel's energy. I see. So you plan to drain all my energy until my body is ashes. It's a good ability. For sure it's a forbidden technique. But it won't work against me. The purple chains would be put on Daishinkan's body. Goku would use mental power to make the chains much more resistant. The energy of consumption would have doubled two times more. If my ability doesn't work against him, I don't know what the hell I will do. I'll have to escape with my son while I still have time. But if I move just one centimeter, the ability would be totally cancelled. Father, this was the technique they used to eliminate Mr. Beerus. I didn't think that Goku would also do the same technique. I see. So you used this ability to eliminate the gods? Too bad that doesn't work against a being as strong as me. Daishinkan would start to increase his power more, causing the chains to break completely. The prison would start to break. It can't be possible. For the first time, someone managed to escape from my ability. Daishinkan would have broken Goku's ability completely, thus starting to walk slowly to where the Saiyan was. There is nothing you can do now. Even with the purple power, they are not able to defeat me. Daishinkan, just like Goku, would summon golden chains. These chains would bind the hands and feet of Goku and Gohan. I can't be able to move! These chains are the same as my ability. They absorb the power of the user to benefit the wearer. It's only a matter of time before they become cosmic dust. Let go of me, you damn angel! Don't think you'll get away with it, because even though I trained for so long in that room, I could not be able to defeat him, because I'm still weak. I didn't think my life would get to this point. The power of Goku and Gohan would begin to drain almost completely, when suddenly a voice would start to sound inside Gohan. The Saiyan, who in the end had become totally unconscious, could hear this voice in his thoughts. Who are you and why are you calling me? You are going to let him end your life? You and your father were chosen to receive the legendary purple power. I saw you train in that room for quite some time and I told myself that you two would be the bearers of my great power. Just remember something. In life, everyone will leave, but your father will always be with you. It is time for you and your father to unite your powers. Wait, you say that I merged with my father? But the fusion has its limits, right? I don't mean a fusion. 
I mean something much more powerful. With the fusion, they couldn't get their true potential. There's only one problem. You will have to live internally with your father. You will never be able to leave his body. But in exchange, they will receive a great power. I know it is hard, but it's the only way for them to leave alive. Then I will have to renounce my body to live internally with my father while I give him my power. If it is the only way, it is fine, we will do it. My father and I have the same goals. As orders, spiritual fusion of mind and body, activate yourself. Gohan's body would start to glow intensely. What is wrong with my son? Because he's starting to glow. A strong wind would start to blow all over the place, while the sky would become dark. Gohan would start to rise in the sky. Father, listen to me. At this moment, you and I will be one person. I will live inside you. I hope you can fulfill my wishes and avenge my wife. Wait, Gohan, don't do it! You can't give up your body like that. It's too late. This is the only way to win. Suddenly, Goku's body would be filled with purple particles, while the ray, together with Gohan's body, would start to merge with his body. The Saiyan would really start to scream at that moment, while getting a new transformation. A lot of hair would start to grow, while his monkey tail would grow again. A purple moon would have come out of the sky. Goku would look at the moon and its size would start to increase. Wally would start to roar with great force. What's wrong with that mortal? Now he looks like a wild beast. Father, in case you didn't know, Saiyans can turn into giant monkeys to increase their power. You'd better watch out for him. No need to tell me. Goku would begin to destroy everything in this path. The moon that was in the sky would have disappeared. Goku would return to his normal size, thus showing his new transformation. I feel my power has increased a lot. I feel the power of my son flowing through my body, but I cannot be able to communicate with him. Son, if you sacrifice yourself so that I can defeat this angel, I promise you that I will not let your sacrifice be in vain. I don't know what name I can give this strange transformation, but surely, if someday you speak to me again, you will choose the name in your honor. My son, what the hell is this transformation? I don't understand what just happened. Angel, you will pay for everything. The chains would be broken completely. Who was able to break my chains? Impossible! Goku, it would have started to load two energy balls in his hand in order to throw them at Daishinkan. You think that because you look different now, you can beat me? You're wrong. Daishinkan would try to stop the energy ball and deflecting, but in doing so would have created a large explosion, which would mean a little nervous to the angel. That destructive power, it does not make any sense. The second ball of energy would also go directly to the angel, but with a little effort he would return it to Goku. Goku without any effort would deflect it completely. Suddenly the Saiyan would move in front of Daishinkan, thus creating three clones with his key. The three clones would start attacking the angel at the same time. Daishinkan could barely dodge his blows. A blow would have gone to the ribs of the angel, but the wood have stopped it with his fist, creating strong currents of air. Angel, for how much longer will you resist my two clones? Why don't you try this? Goku, along with his other two clones, would have kicked Daishinkan all over his face. The angel would have fallen to the ground. The clones would have disappeared while Goku approached the angel to start hitting him. How did you become so strong? Before, you couldn't do anything to me. I will really have to get serious against a mortal like you. Daishinkan, seeing the situation he was in, would have started to increase all his power thus releasing his 100%. Father, don't do it! If you do it, your body will never be able to recover. Son, that doesn't matter to me now. I won't rest until I see him dead. The planet of Beerus would have been completely destroyed. Goku, together with Whis and Daishinkan, would have been left in the void of outer space. Universe 7 would start to tremble by such power. What an incredible power. The whole Universe 7 is trembling by his great power. Belmude, who is more than a spectator together with his angel Margarita, would be very shocked. Margarita, I think it was not a very good idea to come to Universe 7. If we get caught in the fight of these two being so powerful, we will lose our lives for sure. I know I said I will not give away my life, but seeing this I realized the difference in power. That Saiyan manages to overcome his limits more and more. I don't understand how he's so strong. But this is not the time to think about that. If we don't want Universe 11 to be eliminated, Let's get out of here. So he's going to escape? In the end, it's for the best. 
Margarita, that saying is not going to spare anyone. We should prepare ourselves like this by putting up a barrier in Universe 11, so that beast can't enter. You're right. Now that my father has released his 100%, the whole multiverse could be in danger. We'd better prepare ourselves. Belmude, together with his angel, would have escaped from the place to go back to his planet. If this continues like this, he will destroy Universe 7 with his power alone. I will have to calm him down. Hey, Angel, don't raise your power so much. You're endangering my universe. Don't give me orders, Saiyan. You look for this and now you're going to die. Daishinkan would have increased his 100%, thus throwing himself against Goku. Universe 7 was being destroyed by this great battle. Goku was resisting the bows of Daishinkan as much as he could, but while he was fighting, the only thing that was going through his mind was to eliminate the angel to save his universe. 3,000 Asura blows! 3,000 giant fists would have been seen all over the space, thus surrounding the angel. The 3,000 blows would have fallen one by one against the angel. The angel would dodge them, but several would have fallen all over his body, hurting him a little, but those wounds would heal in just a few seconds. Were 3,000 Asura blows not enough to defeat him? He has a lot of resistance. It's my turn. If you became so strong, resist this. Punishing Angel Spear! A giant golden colored spear would have come out of space, thus being launched against the Saiyan. Goku would have put his two hands while Daishinkan exerted more pressure. The spear is very heavy. My body doesn't move. Daishinkan taking advantage of the fact that Goku would have fallen under his ability he would stand in front of him to pierce his body. Goku would spit some blood, while the spear would have fallen on him. That's the best you have? Your son sacrificed himself and you still can defeat me? Shut the fuck up. This is nothing to me. In the time I was locked up, I went through a thousand times worse things. Goku's wound began to heal. Goku, who was being subdued by the spear, would have begun to lift it, thus squeezing the spear so that it would be destroyed. Wow, so you were able to destroy that? You're not doing so bad, mortal. But your universe is very close to destruction. If we continue fighting, in the end the Universe 7 will only be a lifeless place wrapped in flames. I have time without seeing the explosion of a universe. Damn it! I cannot use the maximum power I have achieved by this situation! Now if I'm cornered without knowing what to do, time is running out! Saying what will be your next move? I'm very intrigued. Saiyan, what will be your next move? I'm very intrigued. Damn it, I don't have time! I definitely have to think of something fast. The only way is to do it peacefully. I have to make us fight somewhere else. Hey Angel, there's no need for Universe 7 to be destroyed. If this universe is destroyed, it could cause the destruction of the other universes. So it's not something that suits you true. What if we fight somewhere else? Ha ha ha! Now you think you're in the position to give me orders? The destruction of this universe is inevitable. You brought it on yourself. Do not forget that you eliminated several gods and several of my children. Remember that in this world, only the power can speak for you. Are you crazy? Are you going to eliminate innocent people? I don't care about that. Come on, make your next move. Time is running out. Suddenly, in the Universe 7, small cracks would have appeared. Thanks to that, a black hole would have formed, thus destroying several planets. 10% of the universal life would have been lost in just a few moments. Look how your world is destroyed little by little, and you do nothing. You are miserable. I have no choice but to fight. Goku would have increased his key to give a punch to Daishinkan. The two beings would start fighting again. Goku, even though he was hitting very fast, he was not being precise since he was under a lot of pressure. Daishinkan kicked his face, causing Goku to crash with a very close planet that was in the place. Eliminating you at once would be a waste. I will play with you a little bit. Daishinkan began to launch several balls of energy against the Saiyan. Goku was being subdued by the angel. My body can't react, but I still can't give up. My son sacrificed himself for me. Goku's wounds would have healed almost instantly. Apparently his purple power was helping him. I will have to give my all to save the universe. Even if it is destroyed, I can revive it with the super spheres. Goku would have become serious, thus dodging Daishinkan's energy balls. A layer of smoke would have formed. 
Goku would have come out of it to hit the angel again. I see that this time you grabbed will to fight. But let's see how long that determination will last you. Ten steps of the invincible angel! Suddenly a golden light would fall on Daishinkan's feet. This angel would take a single step. A strong pressure that was able to cut his breath would have fallen on him. What the hell is this? He had never felt such a strong pressure. Suddenly the angel would take another step, so the sensation would be multiplied twice as much. Goku would start to agonize from the pain. Wow, you can still be able to stand up? I can't fall, I still have to stand up! Goku would raise his key as much as possible, so starting to use almost all the power he had gotten. It doesn't matter if you are able to increase your power, I'm more than sure that you can't master your new power yet. Besides, your internal organs are collapsing. I didn't think I would use this technique against someone like you. I didn't think that the mortal that greeted Zeno-san with so much confidence could become such a strong being. Maybe I just underestimated you, but look at you now. You're collapsing trying to survive. Your death will be inevitable. Daishinkan would take another step. Goku at that moment, thanks to the pressure, would have begun to fall into the endless void of outer space. But thanks to his will, he will be able to stop that fall to stand up again. I increased almost all the power of this transformation, but not even so, I can get rid of this technique. I fear that the only thing I have left is to escape, but I have no way out again. Daishinkan would have taken another step, thus completing his fourth step. At this point, the pressure was no longer something bearable. Any god would have fallen long ago. It is as if an ant was crushed by a meteorite. Goku's eyes would have turned white. Forgive me, son. I did everything I could, but not even like that I could beat this guy so strong. Goku would have been completely fainted, even though Daishinkan knew that Goku was out of combat. He would have continued walking until you reach step number 6. I see that there is no longer any point in using this ability against him. I no longer feel the immense key I had achieved. Daishinkan would have deactivated his ability, flying quickly to catch Goku's body. The angel would have descended to another planet nearby to lay down Goku's body on the ground. I can't feel his heartbeats. He has definitely lost his life. <laughs> that means I have won. He should never have faced someone as strong as me. Moreover, I won't even make your body dust. Your own universe that is about to be destroyed will do it for me. See you soon, Goku. It was a pleasure to end your life. Daishinkan had left Universe 7. It was less than two minutes before the universe was destroyed. More than 70% of all the universal life had been lost. Meanwhile, inside Goku, Gohan would have woken up from his deep sleep. Where, where am I supposed to be? Why is everything dark? Can't he unify my body with my father's? Gohan would be asking himself so many questions at that moment, when suddenly flashbacks would come to him, of everything that his father had lived through since he lost consciousness. So my father is still fighting against that damn angel? And he couldn't withstand his ability? That strange being said that we are now one person. I live inside my father. But that doesn't mean that I can't be able to control my father's body. Gohan would have concentrated to channel all his energy into a single point, and then expel it into his father's body. Goku's heart would have started to beat again. Gohan's power flowed through Goku's body, thus miraculously completing the possession. The creator of the purple power, who was watching everything from the shadows, would have been very surprised. How that young man could learn the possession of the body and the soul so quickly, you can tell he's a very intelligent boy. Now that he has awakened his true power is going to resurface. The body of Goku that was being possessed by Gohan would have started to expel a gigantic purple key. Father, don't worry. Now, I will take care of eliminating this angel. Gohan would have started to scream loudly while he would have achieved the same transformation as his father. But now, it was the complete transformation. His fur would have changed from red to white. I will call it Super Saiyan Wrath of Father and Son. I know the name sounds kind of stupid, but I think it represents me and my father. Daishinkan, who was about to leave, would have felt the immense power that would have come out of nowhere. What the hell is going on? The wasn't dead or whose power is this? I have to see it at once. Daishinkan would have begun to fly quickly to the planet that had left the body that supposedly was lifeless. 
When he arrived at the place, he would have a very frightening surprise. This is impossible. Who are you? Are you Goku? Or because your fur has changed color, you were dead. I, I eliminated you with my ability. You're wrong. I'm never going to die under the hands of an angel. And if you're wondering why I'm not Goku, you know. Let's say I'm his son. I came back from hell just to end your life. You'll pay for the humiliation you did to my father. Gohan would throw himself against Daishinkan, giving him a blow so strong that would make him fly. Suddenly, Gohan would throw a super Kamehameha against Daishinkan. Unlike other times, this attack cost the angel a lot to stop him. You were able to deflect by attack. I can see that you're very resistant. Before Gohan could launch another ability, Daishinkan would have activated his 10 steps of the Invincible Angel. The pressure was starting to fall on Gohan. Maybe it worked against my father, but it won't work against me. Stop talking nonsense. You have Goku's body. Just because you have become more powerful, it's impossible that it won't affect you. I see that you want to finish me with just one technique. I will do it too. Gohan began to concentrate great power in the palm of his hand, while Daishinkan began to walk, thus managing to reach step number 7. Even though the pressure was unbearable, Gohan continued as if nothing had happened. He continues charging power into the palm of his hand, because I don't see that he is dying. Step number 8. The pressure would have increased much more, but this would have only caused Gohan to move just a little. Understand it, Angel, this ability doesn't even tickle me. At that moment, Gohan would think, this angel's ability is really affecting me a little, but I can't show weakness before him. I have to continue to endure until I complete my technique. There's only a little bit left. He must be lying. It's impossible for him to be like this. I'll give him all that's left of my technique. Step number 9 and 10. Suddenly, Gohan would be on his knees. I knew it. It was impossible that you couldn't feel any. Maybe you're right. But that's not enough to eliminate me. You don't know. You just eat this. Asura Energy Ball, Devourer of Gods! The energy that Gohan had in the palm of his hand was so powerful that it would have broken the angel's ability. This energy was going against Daishinkan. The angel would put his two hands to prevent that great energy from touching his body. I can't stand it. It's too much power! Daishinkan's hands were starting to burn. I really thought that if I left his body, he would be destroyed by his universe. So the purple energy of his body would have come out? For me, it would not be difficult to locate his purple energy. But I see that I was wrong. I should have eliminated his body at that moment. Without a doubt, I will not be able to stop this attack. I will have to escape from here. When Daishinkan was about to escape, somehow the ball of energy touched his body, beginning to disintegrate little by little. But Daishinkan, before being eliminated, was able to escape. He would have returned to the palace of Zenosama, almost dying. I knew that escaping would be expensive, but I did not think that my body would be like this. Meanwhile, Gohai, Gohan's attack would have started to explode. The destruction time of Universe 7 would have increased. Now there were only 10 seconds left. It can't be true. Then Dan managed to escape from my attack? I can't be consumed by the explosion of the universe. I don't think my body can withstand it. Angel, this is not going to stay like this. I promise you that I will find you. Gohan would start to fly at great speed. While flying, the universe would start to explode, destroying almost all life that exists in Universe 7. Meanwhile, in another part of Universe 7, 30 seconds before the explosion, it seems that my father is having a hard time beating Goku. Besides, I feel that he managed to increase his power. If I'm not mistaken, there are only 30 seconds left. I have to get out of here on my own. My father will be able to escape on his own. But before that, I have to take someone with me. Vegeta, I know that you have been hiding for a while. I see that you were able to feel my presence. I see you were able to sense my presence, Wiss. No need to ask. I can feel the presence of beings as weak as you. I want to think that you already realized the power that Goku has, and now that Mr. Beerus is dead, the mental manipulation has been broken. Tell me what you plan to do now that you are free. The universe is about to be destroyed, and to be realistic, the only way you have to save yourself is for me to help you. After you mentally manipulated me to be your slave, you think I will accept your help? I prefer to be dust with this universe. That's your problem, Vegeta. Your great pride. 
Don't you want more power? You want to stay behind Goku? You could never reach him, and now even less. Since you prefer death instead of becoming a supreme being, what do you think of this? In exchange for you becoming my disciple, I promise you that I will make you gain great power, whatever it costs me, and if it is not enough, your life will be saved. Tell me, what do you think? Vegeta, at that moment of listening to the words of Whis, squeezed his hand tightly. He's right. If I die, I'll only be left behind. If I want to avenge the people I love, I have to accept this deal. Besides, I need to overcome Kakarot. That incredible strength he has now has left me speechless. But what if what Whis says is true? In just a few years, I can overcome him and become the king of this multiverse. I have no choice but to accept the deal. Vegeta would accept Whis's deal. Even though his pride wouldn't let him, it was the best thing he could do at that moment since the Saiyan knew perfectly well that if he died, he wouldn't be able to do anything else. His goals and objectives would end at that moment. After Vegeta accepted the Angel's deal, Whis would have created an energy barrier with his staff to take Vegeta as far as possible from the explosion of Universe 7. Returning to the present, Universe 7 was exploding out of control. Gohan would be flying at high speed to save his father's body. I didn't think that everyone would end this way. Now there is no one left alive. I can't be able to feel the key from any living being. Gohan would have arrived to Universe 6, being far away from the explosion of Universe 7. But when he arrived, he would realize something very terrible. The explosion is too strong. Maybe it can affect the other universes. I have to do something to save this universe. This that I am going to do is going to finish with my key reserves, but I have no other way. Gohan would increase his key as much as possible, thus creating a super barrier in the most affected part of Universe 6. The explosion would have reached where Gohan was. Small flames began to burn his skin. Gohan's body would begin to burn alive. But even though Gohan was enveloped in flames, thanks to his regeneration by his purple power, his barrier would remain intact. Gohan would begin to reverse the barrier, thus beginning to observe the universal explosion. All the flames and the heat from the explosion would begin to enter his body. Definitely this feat was impossible for a god or normal being. Only an all-powerful being could achieve something like this. After being more than three minutes absorbing the explosion, this would have disappeared completely. Gohan for a moment would be completely paralyzed. His bones and his body were completely burned. But thanks to his purple power, his body was recovering little by little. After five minutes, his body would be fully restored, but without key, his energies would have been at zero. After absorbing the universal explosion, with his last strength before fainting, he would say, At least I could save the people of this universe. It's a pity that before waking up, the universe was already being destroyed. Otherwise, his destroy would have been different. Now, I just need to rest again. Father, I leave the control to you again. Goku's body would have fainted completely, starting to fall again, but unlike the other times, he would have fallen to a mysterious planet where several beings would have seen Goku's body almost dying. Even though they were afraid at first, they would have helped him anyway. Meanwhile, Daishinkan, this angel just like Goku, would have been totally dying. I can't believe that a mortal would have left such serious wounds all over my body. It would take my body a while to heal these wounds. The guardians of Zeno-sama would have been frightened to see the body of Daishinkan almost dying. Lord Daishinkan, what happened to you? Why are you so badly wounded? It is the first time in all these years that we have existed that we see you shed blood. Perhaps you had a fight with a very powerful being? That is not a matter in which you should get involved. Your only job is to protect the great Zeno-sama. If you excuse me, I will talk to him. But when Daishinkan got up to see Zeno-sama, this angel would have fallen to the ground. Damn it, my legs do not react. Lord Daishinkan, let us help him. The two guardians would have carried Daishinkan in Amabas parts of the body. Once they arrived where Zeno-sama was, the little ones as well as their guardians would be very surprised. Zeno-sama of the future, Zeno-sama of the present, I need your help. 
I don't know if you remember that I told you about an extremely powerful presence. Well, I fought him and look how he damaged my body. The two Zenosama would have stood up, thus putting a very annoying face. Anyone who dares to touch you, Dai Shinkan, will be seen with us. I do not tolerate people who mess with my friends. And tell me who messed with you. Whoever that person is, I will make them pay with their absolute elimination. That's the problem, Big Zenosama. If I tell you, he wouldn't believe me. But the person who did these wounds all over my body is your friend Goku. Are you serious? It's a joke, right? Goku would never do that. Besides, he doesn't have the power to confront you. I thought so too, but look how he left me. He is no longer a normal being. Now he is just a threat to all the multiverses. Daishinkan would show him a video that he himself would have recorded thanks to his memories. What you said is true. Goku has become this strong on his own? It is amazing and terrifying at the same time. But every consequence has a punishment. That he can no longer stay alive. Daishinkan, how much time do you need to recover? Well, Great Zenosama, I need three months to heal my internal wounds. It seems good to me, three months. That in three months, we are going to eliminate Goku. What a pity, really. We really consider him a friend. It would have been more than a week after that event. In that week, Daishinkan began to meditate his body to recover his wounds, thus filling his body with particles of light. These particles entered through his veins, repairing the affected parts of the body. I need much more power. With my current power, I'll not be able to beat him. I'll have to give him a visit to my father, and that he teaches me the path I must take to become an immortal celestial angel. Only by completing the exams that my father puts me, I can become stronger. Damn, Goku. You do not know with what force you have gotten into. Meanwhile, Goku. He was totally fainted when suddenly he would have opened his eyes completely. Where am I supposed to be? I can't remember anything at all. The only thing I remember is that I was fighting that angel, and from there my mind goes blurry. Goku would have stood up quickly, wondering where he was supposed to be. Wow, I see you finally woke up. We managed to heal your wounds almost completely, but I think it's a miracle you survived. Tell me one thing, this place where it is located, I mean what universe am I in? This is Universe 6. You are currently in a very sparsely inhabited planet. It is very rare that we have visitors, and less of such strange people. Friends, I thank you for your hospitality, but I must go. Goku was about to leave when suddenly the leader of the planet would have stopped him. Wait a minute! You're going to leave just like that? You're a very strange person. As you fell from the sky, we decided to know where you came from. So we rummaged through your memories. Universe 7 was eliminated because of the fight you had with the angel Daishinkan, but you risked your life to save Universe 6, and I am a person who rewards favors. If you manage to endure a fight against me for 15 minutes, I will tell you how you can become stronger. By the way, I don't want you to feel confident just because you're strong. I'm even stronger than the destroyer god that you eliminated, only that I hide in the shadows. I think this person wants to play with me. I don't have time for jokes, but if you know how to make me stronger, I will. Goku would have transformed into Super Saiyan God Purple. I will use this transformation. My last transformation, I won't use it. I haven't recovered all my power yet, but this will be enough. Goku would move against Yizo, thus giving him a kick on his left side, but Yizo would stop it very easily. But despite stopping the kick, he would have backed up a little. Yizo was somewhat surprised as a being after a long time could make him back down. Despite knowing the memories that young man had, he would throw himself against Goku to give him several blows. The two beings would start the fight at the same time, creating airwaves thanks to his fists. Goku, despite his tremendous strength, would be shot several meters away from Yizo. Maybe you are strong, but not strong enough to endure 15 minutes of fight. Suddenly, a ball of ki would have enveloped Yizo. From the ball of ki would have come out Goku, Goku taking advantage of the distraction that would have achieved in that second, would charge his purple Asura fist against Yizo. Yizo to see such power in the fists of Goku, managed to fix his eyes on the fists, to manage to dodge the blow. The blow would have fallen to the ground, managing to shake the entire planet. 
What a tremendous power this young man has. And I see that inside him, he has the legendary purple power. Let's see how he does with this. Clones of evil rates! Three rates would have launched themselves against Goku. Goku, even though he wanted to eliminate them with a single blow, he could not do it, since the rates were not living beings. Goku would throw them several balls of energy, but this ball of energy would pass through them without touching them. Suddenly, one of the rates would have tried to enter Goku's body to possess him, but in doing so, he would suffer great consequences. The rate would be totally burned by Goku's internal energy. Do not try to control my body. It is impossible. Inside my body, I have a force that you will never want to know. The other two rates would have been a little scared. Don't worry, there's nothing to be afraid of. He can't touch you. Izo together with his two raids would have started attacking Goku. How long would you be able to withstand my attacks? Compared to what I felt under the ability of that angel, this is nothing. But I'm surprised that there is someone so strong in Yuu 6, capable of doing me some damage with my transformation. Goku would stay still, thus covering himself with his hands from the attacks of the raids. Everything in this world has a weak point. Remember everything you learned in that room, at that moment. Goku's eyes would start to glow brightly. My eyes are burning! Is it because of that specter's fault? My eyes are burning! Maybe it's because of that specter. Suddenly, Goku's eyes would turn a very intense red, being able to see internally the energy of those specters. Now I can be able to see their internal body, and as far as I can see, they have a small physical part that makes them be here. Goku would throw himself against the specters to confirm what he was thinking. When attacking the specters, he would realize that they charged their internal physical part for their whole body. They're not invincible. I simply have to destroy their internal physical part. A specter would try to get behind Goku to attack him, but Goku would quickly realize to activate his ability again. Goku's fist was filled against the specter, but this one would only laugh confident that Goku could not touch him. <laughs> You're wasting your time. That punch is not going to touch my body. But at the moment that that specter was saying that, Goku managed to hit his physical part, causing it to break completely. The specter would scream and then disappear. Now you only have one specter left, Yizo. It can't be possible. You managed to find a way to defeat my specters? But how was he able to do it? Come on, what are you waiting for, Spectre? Why don't you throw yourself against me? Are you afraid of losing your life? You shouldn't care if you're already dead. If I lose my life, I'll disappear from existence. I really don't want to risk it, but he is underestimating me. The Spectre would get in front of Goku, throwing little threads of shadows so that Goku wouldn't be able to move. But Goku somehow managed to dodge those little threads of shadows. I don't understand how you can be able to see my technique. The only people who can see this technique are the people who have already lost their lives. Maybe you're right, but I'm not going to tell you my secret. It will be better for you to rest in peace forever. Goku would charge a ball of energy in his hand, throwing it to the Spectrum at high speed. The Spectrum, confident that he could stop the ball of energy, would stay in the same place, thus putting his two hands in front to receive the impact. Hey, are you crazy? Dodge that ball of energy. But when the Spectrum wanted to react, it was already too late. The ball of energy would have impacted right in his physical part. The spectrum would have disappeared completely. He also thought that if he hid his physical part and be able to stop my attack, what a fool he was. Izo, your rates have been eliminated now, only you are left. Damn it, only have three minutes left for the bet to end. I can't let myself be defeated so easily. The only thing I have left is to fight using most of my power. Let the best one win this fight. If I reveal more of my techniques, it could be dangerous for him to learn them later. Besides, I already lost three of my most important warriors. Yizo would throw himself against Goku, trying to hit him extremely fast. But Goku could see his hits in slow motion, being able to dodge them all, and then hit him in the face. That hit really hurt me. Yizo would try to catch Goku, but he couldn't do it. My physical attacks can't be able to touch him, not even an inch. I'll have to reveal one more trick. I only have one more minute left. Yiza would open his mouth. From his mouth would come out 50 specters of a very small size. Unlike the other specters that were artificial. If Goku made contact with some of these specters, 
the specter that touched his body would explode completely. The 50 specters were completely surrounding the Saiyan. I see that you took out one more technique before you ran out of time. Yiza wouldn't think twice and would throw all 50 at once. Suddenly, all 50 spectrum would have exploded at once. At that moment, the 15 minutes would be over. Come on, I have won the bet. Now that I have defeated him, it means I don't have to tell him how to get stronger. Anyway, he was very foolish to want to face me. I warned him that I was stronger than the god of destruction of this universe. Out of the smoke, Goku would have come out almost without any injuries. His finger was burned, but despite that, it would have healed instantly. If I hadn't teleported, I don't know what would become of me right now. I see that you talk a lot without checking how your opponent is doing. As you can see, I was able to withstand a fight with you for 15 minutes. That means you have to tell me how I can become stronger. You really are a very incredible person. Not for nothing did you save our universe from total elimination. Wait a minute, apart from you telling me how I can get stronger, I want you to tell me how I saved your universe. I don't remember anything about that. The last time I remember is that I was going to be eliminated by that angel. And from there I woke up here. As far as I can see, you used a much more powerful form than the one you are using now. And in the fight you mentioned that it was not Goku, but his son who was fighting. So my son Gohan is still alive inside my body? Goku would try to communicate with Gohan, but even though he had spent several minutes trying to communicate, Gohan didn't respond. I can't feel my son's presence internally, but I trust your word, since I can't find any other explanation for all of this. Don't worry, son. I'll train very hard to avenge everyone's death. Now tell me how I can become stronger. Listen carefully. On this planet, there is a place called the Massacre Abyss. If you manage to reach the top floor of that place, you will be able to obtain the Massacre Energy. This energy will enter your whole body, so you will obtain an immense power. Obviously, it will not be easy, but if you want to defeat the angel so strong, you will have to do it. And tell me something, you have managed to reach the top floor of the Abyss Massacre? If I'm honest, I've not even dared to enter that place. But once, a long time ago, a god of great power tried to conquer the Abyss Massacre to get his energy, but he was not able to do it. He never returned. I understand, but you are right. If it is the only way to make me stronger to defeat that angel, I'm going to do it. Izo would begin to fly, taking Goku to a forest who was on the planet. Inside this forest was a well on fire. Goku and Yuzo would have reached this forest. Goku just made contact with the place would feel chills, since the murderous intention that was in the place was too much. I've never felt anything like this in my life. Goku would pull back, starting to sweat. I see you're chickening out at the last minute. The Saiyan would start to breathe slowly. My son sacrificed himself for me. I have to get into this place. Goku would approach the well to take a closer look, but Yiza would kick him in the back, causing the Saiyan to fall into the well. The Saiyan would try to fly up, but the pressure that was in the place did not allow it, thus falling into the Abyss Massacre. Meanwhile, in the palace of Zenosama, Daishinkan was still meditating, healing his internal wounds little by little. I only have three months to finish with the life of that Saiyan. I have to go to my father, the all-powerful angel, so he can give me the exams. Daishinkan would have stood up, talking to the guards of Zenosama. So they could take him to his father? Are you sure about that, Mr. Daishinkan? Yes, I'm sure. My father can be a little annoying, but I need him to train me. While I am with my father, you take care of the great Zeno. There's no need to mention it. It is our job. The guards would have led to a secret place that was inside the palace. Here was a stone door, which could only be opened with the blood of an angel. Daishinkan would have cut a little on the palm of his hand, then squeeze his hand. Drops of blood fell from his hand. These drops of blood, to make contact with the stone door, would have illuminated completely, thus changing its colors to gold. A portal that was inside the door would have been activated. The angel would jump into the portal, to reach a place that was full of white clouds. I had a long time without coming to this place, as my father will be after a long time without seeing him. The angel would have climbed some stairs that were in the place. To reach the top would see a throne and sitting with his father, the angel would get on his knees. Father, how have you been? 
After a long time, I've come back. I really did not expect your visit. And tell me, what brings you here? The angel would tell everything to his father. Really, what are you telling me is true? You say that there is a mortal with your power, and he could face you? The angel's father would give a small blow on his throne. I can't accept it! In all the thousands of years that I have been locked up here, something like this has never happened. Do you want me to take care of him myself? Because it wouldn't cost me anything. The angel's father would launch a small sphere of key, destroying more than a thousand planets that he had around him. The planets would regenerate instantly. Father, you don't need to do that for me. You know perfectly well that my pride would not allow it. I want to defeat him myself, and for that I want to take the divine exams. I know that if I manage to obtain the blessing of the immortal angel, I will have an incredible power. I see, so you came here for me to give you the tests myself. The blessing of the immortal angel is not for all angels. That's why I want to see if my son is still qualified for that blessing. My own father underestimates me. Just because a mortal could implant my face doesn't mean I'm not worthy. The angel would have increased his key. Father, I will show you what I'm capable of. My power is still not completely recovered, but I have no other choice. My son wants to fight against me. This is very interesting. My body was starting to ache from sitting all day long. The angel's father would move very fast. His hand would become giant to hit the angel. In the blink of an eye, Daishinkan would fly away crashing against some planets. I couldn't see his movement. It was very fast. Suddenly, while the angel was getting up, his father would give him another hit. The angel would try to endure it, but it would have stepped out, shot very far away. My body is a little hurt. My father has only hit me twice. I have to do something. Daishinkan would concentrate energy in his hands, creating again a giant golden spear. This spear would be shot against his father. Father, why don't you better not eat this? The spear was going at high speed against the all-powerful angel. <laughs> you really think you can stop me with that attack? Don't be so stupid, son. The angel would have single-handedly stopped the golden spear thus breaking it into a thousand pieces. Daishinkan, while his father was distracted with his golden spear, he would approach without his father noticing, giving him a blow with much of his power from behind. But somehow, his father would have turned around quickly, using only the movement of his hands to create a strong pressure that would fall on top of the angel. Daishinkan would split blood. Father, how the hell are you so strong? Father, how the hell are you so strong? I can't be able to move any muscle in my body. Now you give up, son? I see that you still don't have what it takes to receive the three divine exams. But just this once, I will help you. I want you to put that guy in his place and show what you're made of. Even though I've been defeated so easily, this time I accept my defeat. But when I complete the three divine exams and I manage to defeat that Saiyan, I'll face you again, father. <laughs> I see that you have some pride, son. But if you say so, I think it's fine. Then son, what do you think if we start with the three tests right now? The first test will be to control the golden light of angel. You have to purify your body of all the sins you have committed. Because although you do not believe it, the angels like mortals commit sins. As far as I can tell, your light power has dropped a lot. Maybe your bad thoughts have made you lose power. Then father, as I do to get the power I lost again, the angel's father would have taken out a pond with purifying water. In this pond, there was a great amount of golden energy. Daishinkan, when he felt the energy of the pond, he would be surprised by how much energy he could feel. Father, what the hell is that? This is the purifying pond that all the angels of high rank. We used to purify our soul. If you want to obtain the power of the immortal, you have to do it. Daishinkan, even though they would not be so sure, would have slowly approached the pond. Once inside the pond, the same water from there would have taken shape in two hands to drag his body. The angel seeing this would have several blows to those hands with water, but it was totally useless. Suddenly his body would have been trapped by the pond, thus falling into the pond. The angel once in there would begin to scream because of the pain he was feeling. Besides that, he was losing oxygen little by little. I can't be able to breathe. For some reason, I feel that my body hurts more than normal. Maybe this is the true power of the purifying water. Maybe if I knew, it had to happen therefore, 
wouldn't have risked it. On the surface, the angel's father was watching everything that was happening. Son, you wanted to take this test. Now everything depends on you. Unfortunately, if you lose this test, your life will be completely lost, and I will not be able to do anything to save you. I have to calm down. The more I move my body, the more oxygen I will lose. Besides, my energy is running out little by little. I have to hold on. Suddenly, some black flames would have come out of the angel's body, managing to keep its shape thanks to the air bubbles that were produced by the angel's oxygen. The dark energy that was reflected in flames would enter into an air bubble to avoid hurting his body. <laughs> I see that you could take out the evil that you had in your body, but even so, I will not leave so easily. Your body will be mine, angel. Suddenly, a gust of shadow would have surrounded the angel, thus beginning to torment him. Surrender, angel. Your worst sin was to be born. This world is not for people like us. If you want power, I can give it to you. Just let the evil take over your body. The flames that would have left the angel's body would have begun to return again, thus beginning to consume him again. It seems that he is not going to make it. He let himself be controlled by evil. I don't know why I keep seeing this. I will return to my throne. What I want is power, and if you can give it to me, I will accept it. In order to defeat him, I would do the impossible. The pond, seeing that Daishinkan had so much evil in his body, would have expelled him completely, since he had a limit. Father, I have achieved it. Now I have great power. <laughs> Apparently you still haven't succeeded. You really are a disappointment. What are you talking about, Father? If I succeeded, you haven't made it. You only let yourself be manipulated by power. What's the use of having a borrowed power? if you're going to have a very big consequence. Suddenly, the angel's voice would have changed. Shut the fuck up! This body is already mine, and you won't be able to do anything. The angel would throw himself against his father, but at that moment of doing it, he would have stopped in the air to start touching his own head. What is going on? Don't you want more power? My father is right. If I want power, I'll have to do it on my own. Suddenly, a golden light would have fallen on the angel. He would start to scream loudly, and from his body, that evil energy that was consuming him would have come out completely. I don't know how on earth you were able to achieve it, but I will not leave this place. Daishinkan would create again a golden spear. While the angel was carrying that spear, the dark energy would have released hands of giant shadows to envelop the angel, but this while carrying his golden spear would have dodged the shadows without many problems. As long as none of those shadows touch my body, I'll be fine. The dark energy, seeing that his technique did not work, would create a matrix of energy on the ground. So this matrix would begin to absorb the power of the angel, but not even a second would pass. When the angel would have finished charging his golden spear to throw it to the dark energy, but this energy would have absorbed his spear to return it to him again. But what the hell, my technique has been returned again. Daishinkan would try to withstand his same technique, but in doing so he would be hurt thus creating small cuts on his body, because my technique does not work against that energy. The father of the angel would think when he saw this, this became more interesting than I thought. Obviously, it will not be so easy to pass the first test. The attacks with that kind of energy that are not any matter will not work. He has to see the way to defeat him, although the answer is very easy. Daishinkan would throw several energy balls, but this guy would just dodge them. Daishinkan was being beaten up, my father has beaten me so much that I have been hurt, and now this guy too? Is the world of strong people so big? I really thought I was the strongest. Angel, I'm still giving you the chance to resign yourself and come back to me. I'm not going to do that. I just want to find a way to defeat him. Several minutes would have passed, where the angel launched attacks and techniques, but nothing had effect. Suddenly, the dark energy would have launched a gust of wind which would throw the angel to the purifying pond again. The angel would leave the pond, but out of nowhere, the dark energy would stop attacking him. Because he is no longer attacking me, maybe he is afraid of the purifying water. Maybe this water has a limit of use. But if the energy is out of a body, this energy can be eliminated completely. <laughs> I think I found your weakness. You really gave me a hard time. The angel would use mental power to remove a small part of the water that was in the pond. Suddenly, a giant ball of water would be thrown against the dark energy. This energy would begin to escape as fast as it could. If that water touches my body, I will lose my life. 
I can't do that yet. I will not let you escape. The angel would have moved so fast, thus putting it behind the energy, to then throw a small ball of water. This ball of water would make the dark energy back out, but in doing so, it would be completely consumed. This cannot be possible. I've lost? What a fool. He forgot he was cornered and backed away. The water would go back to where it belonged. You have succeeded, son. I didn't think you would discover the weakness. Although it was very easy, you have passed the first test. Now you have two more to go. As a reward, you will have a small increase in power. The sky would open. A golden angel would have come out of the sky to touch the head of Daishinkan. At that moment, his power would increase. Meanwhile, Goku, perhaps I was deceived by Yizu. What's wrong with this place? I can't see anything. I only feel an amount of murderous energy that is not normal. Suddenly, a strange being would have appeared. I will eat your mortal soul. Some energy threads would have gone where Goku was, but thanks to the increase of his ocular power, he was able to dodge them. What's up with that guy? He has a human face, but he doesn't look like a living being. And besides, I can't feel his presence or his key. I only feel a strange, murderous energy coming from that strange guy. So you are new. This is the Abyss Massacre. Nobody leaves this place alive. I must imagine that you fell by accident in this place, since nobody in their right mind would enter here. What bad luck you have. You will be my food. An invisible shadow came out to ram the Saiyan at great speed. The guy was mocking and his voice echoed in the desolate place. The subject he did not move from where he was standing. He only controlled the shadow with his sight. Goku would again try to fly towards the surface of the abyss, but the higher he climbed the pressure was getting stronger, causing some of his bones to break. The pressure seemed to kill him. Despite that, he would continue to climb higher and higher. But something strange would happen to him. From his body he would have begun to hear a voice. Apparently the soul of his son had awakened. Father, you better not keep flying. Come down immediately. This place is like a prison. Once inside, you cannot get out. At least not where you managed to enter. There must be a way out. Maybe if you somehow manage to complete the Abyss Massacre, you can get out of here. The same Abyss restricts you. From what I heard from the guy before waking up, no one has been able to get out of here alive. Son, apparently you have awakened. I knew you were not dead. When they told me that you had saved Universe 6, I promised myself to become stronger to fulfill your promise. I have awakened, Father. The energy of this place made my body react. Now that there are two of us, maybe you can complete the abyss. You're right, son. Goku would have gone back to the ground. Steam would begin to come out of his body. Thanks to the awakening of his son and the purple power, his wounds would heal in just seconds. How interesting. That formidable regeneration I have already seen it a long time ago. You managed to fly 500,000 meters high. You are a very strange guy. Your physical resistance must be very good. A suffocating pressure fell on Goku. Kneel down now! Goku would have been on his knees, but after a few seconds he would get up with his willpower. Even though its power is great, I was able to resist its pressure. This power is very similar to the technique that the angel used at that time. You resist very well. The invisible shadow emerged once again, dodging it for the second time. The last time he flew to the top, it was not consciousness. He could see the shadow that attacked him. The power that this man has is not very high. He should not be able to dodge my attacks and much less see them. Perhaps the ocular power that he has in his eyes is so strong, a kick would crash Goku, thus sticking him in a very sticky web. In reality, they were very strange mattresses that allowed to capture a living being and camouflage as if they were a simple spiderweb. Goku could not move, but he felt that the key that he had that spiderweb was on the outside, flowing as if it were a normal technique. This time you're not going to escape. I will eat your soul. This time you will not escape. I will eat your soul. Goku, no matter how hard he tried to move, he couldn't move. The guy would approach at high speed to eat Goku's soul. Father, do not lose your life here. The spider web of this guy has a weakness, and luckily your body is full of this weakness. What do you mean, son? Father, try to concentrate your power and use the purple energy to increase your power. Eventually, you will make a spider thread evaporate. Goku, without thinking, would increase his power. Instead of using his natural energy, he would use the purple energy. 
the spider web would have disappeared. But what the hell just happened? The energy that came out of his body is very strange. It's as strange as the energy of my master. Father, in case you didn't notice, even though the guy tried to approach us, he couldn't move more than 100 meters. That means that he is a kind of test used by people who live inside the abyss. You're right, son. Since I started fighting him, I could never feel any kind of key inside his body. And as far as I can guess, he's not a living being. He must be a puppy controlled by someone else. Goku moved 100 meters away, knowing that this was the limit of the thing ahead of him. Why don't you come attack me and fight? Don't just stand there like a coward. Why are you running away? Are you afraid of me? Actually, no. The fact that you don't come closer is because you can't. Am I wrong? Goku started to throw key balls at him just to annoy him, being more than sure that what he thought was true. You're a bastard! I'm going to tear you to pieces! The subject would throw himself against Goku. Goku would not move from the same place, and 20 centimeters away from his fist about to hit Goku's face, the guy would remain motionless because he did not have enough range. What happened? Is that all your range, puppet? This talker is very cunning. Thousands of people have fallen into the Abyss Massacre. Many of them fall in despair and exhaust their strength fighting against me. As I am a non-living being, I am invincible and they are not even able to enter the second floor of the Abyss. But this guy realized almost instantly. At that moment, Goku would think. Now the question I have, where are the real bosses of this Abyss? Wait a minute. I know where that might be. Goku would carry a Kamehameha in the palm of his hand. Apparently, he's going to attack me. That means he doesn't realize that I can't die in any way. Goku out of nowhere would have jumped. So throwing his Kamehameha within 100 meters where the puppet could move, a big crater appeared and at the bottom of that big crater, it seemed to see a giant door. So there it is. That's the real entrance to the Abyss Massacre. The puppet with great fear began to scream. That's not the entrance. Don't even think of taking another step. The puppet stood in the middle of the doorway, thus beginning to guard it very well. He panicked. Is that something normal? I don't know if it's normal for him to be like that, but behind that door there's something he doesn't want me to see. I'm now more than sure. Goku would have created more than 100 purple energy clones. The 100 clones would begin to move through the puppet thus beginning to confuse him. In an oversight, the original Goku would get close to the door, thus looking at the being that was very nervous, and with a smile, he would open the door to enter inside. Damn it, escaped me. He is the second being since the creation of the Abyss Massacre, who manages to find the secret entrance. The way that the others used is defeating me 100 times, thus appearing a message of flames that reveals the entrance. That subject to reach level 100 will meet with my master. Meanwhile, on the 100th floor of the Abyss Massacre. How interesting is all this? After thousands of years, another person has entered the path of death. The last one was the Beastman Nian Tian, but I doubt very much that he manages to enter the last level of the Abyss. His level of power is very low. He still lacks much experience if he wants to pass this Abyss. That Beastman, who managed to pass the Abyss, was a genius among geniuses. This guy is just a mediocre being who tries to become strong. Meanwhile, Goku. So this was the real entrance. This looks like another abyss. Very different from the one I was seeing. It's as if this place is separated into different dimensions. On the other hand, Vegeta would have gone with Whis to a place far away and very sparsely inhabited. Whis, I know that some time has passed since I became your student, but my strength advances very slowly. Maybe I need another training method. That won't be necessary, Vegeta. You haven't become strong because we haven't even started with the real training. I promised you that I would make you strong, so you just have to trust me. Before we go to this place, I want you to master two powers at the same time. What do you mean, Whis? Like, two powers at the same time? Just as you heard it, a person can't just master one power. If you manage to get two different types of key, you will be able to control the power of the angels and the power of the gods at the same time. And how am I supposed to do that? In this bottle, I have the remains of the energy of Mr. Beerus before he lost his life. I locked his energy in this bottle. Your only duty will be to control the energy from within you. Let's start with the energy of the god Beerus. 
Whis would have opened the bottle that contained the energy of this god. So this energy would have gone inside Vegeta's body. The Saiyan, while starting to absorb the energy, would start sweating. His body would start shaking, while his body temperature would be rising a lot. Damn, this power is much stronger than I thought. As much as I tried to make this energy mine, I cannot. Vegeta would open his mouth, thus expelling the energy he had absorbed, would begin to form at a single point, thus creating the body of the god Beerus in the form of energy. Who the hell dares to steal my energy as a god destroyer? Whis? Perhaps Mr. Beerus has returned as a ghost to take revenge. No, Vegeta, you're wrong. This is only a part of his consciousness that remained in his energy. The real Beerus has lost his life. Your job will be to defeat him. If you manage to do it, his energy will be yours. Vegeta would use the Ultra Ego, so also expelling a little power of God, the Saiyan without thinking twice would charge his final flash. But at the time that this energy was launched, the God Beerus would have consumed it completely. <laughs> Thanks for the food but you can never steal my power with that low power. The god Beerus would launch against the final flash. Vegeta confidently would remain without moving in order to receive its own energy, but Whis would have teleported quickly, thus taking Vegeta out of there. The attack would have destroyed several planets, thus eliminating a large part of the planet. The Saiyan to see this would be very astonished. If you hadn't saved me, my body would undoubtedly be reduced to ashes. Vegeta, you'd better concentrate. From now on, everything will depend on you. I can't save you all the time. Whis is right. If I want to become strong, I can't trust myself. Vegeta would be fighting against the god, but this god had much more advantage. Suddenly, the god would use his Hakai energy. Vegeta was barely able to dodge it, to give him a kick in the face. The god's head would have been torn off. The god's body would be left without moving. What's wrong? I was able to defeat him with a single blow. No doubt he has lost a lot of power. But when the Saiyan was about to reclaim the god's energy, the head would begin to fly by itself, thus putting itself behind the Saiyan. The god would have spit out a kind of slime formed of energy. Vegeta would be totally immobile. The god's head would have returned to its place. You are not very smart. Now your life energy will be mine. The slime formed of energy would have begun to wrap the whole body of the Saiyan. The Saiyan would use his hands to get rid of it, but it was impossible. I can't breathe! My vision is fading! All Paris, sir, he fell into the trap of Mr. Beerus. I told him not to trust, now he's going to lose his life. Anyway, if in 10 minutes I can't feel his key, I will have to leave this place and lock up again the energy of Mr. Beerus. God damn it, my senses are lost! Vegeta would lose consciousness, thus falling into a deep sleep. He's in his vague thoughts and would start thinking. Perhaps this is the light at the end of the tunnel we call life. No doubt, this time my body will not go to heaven or hell. My existence will be erased by a god. Vegeta was in a field of flowers, looking at his wife in the distance. Balma, what are you doing here? I thought you were dead. I really am. And I see that very soon you will be too. You were weak, Vegeta. I'm really not proud of you. And not only that, you let me die. You cannot save the life of your son or your wife. Shut your mouth! I had no choice. I was controlled by that god. What else could I do at that moment? That doesn't matter anymore, Vegeta. My time here is over. I have to go now. Wait, Balma, don't go! Let me explain things to you. Balma that had been created by the mind of the Saiyan would have disappeared, so the field of flowers would burn. Vegeta, when seeing all this, a great stimulus would be created inside his body, which would make his internal energy explode. Vegeta would regain consciousness. No, today, I will not die. I am not so weak. A purple light would begin to come out of that cocoon formed by slime, because I can no longer swallow its power. What's up with that increase of energy? The slime cocoon would have evaporated. Vegeta was very angry. Beerus to see this would be launched against the Saiyan and hitting him again and again. But the Saiyan would have dodged his blows with great ease and hit his stomach. The stomach of the god would have regenerated. I see you have a very fast regeneration, but how about this? The Saiyan charged a great energy in the palm of his hand, calling his new technique the Ultimate Star. 
In his hand, he would create a star of energy, thus managing to absorb the power of several stars that were in space. The god, upon seeing this great amount of energy, would be excited. He, in his little consciousness, believed that, if he absorbed this great amount of energy, his original body would be resurrected. But what he did not know is that a person who has already died normally cannot be resurrected. Swallow this power and give me your energy, god. The last star would throw itself against the god. The god, without thinking, would receive this great attack. The god, as expected, would swallow the attack. His body would be filled with power again. This is what my body needed. Now I will be invincible. Wait, what about my body? Now I will be invincible. Wait, what's wrong with my body? I can't be able to consume this energy. I feel like my body is about to explode. The best thing I can do now will be to stop consuming this energy. Beerus would start to stop absorbing energy, but by doing that, his body in the form of spiritual energy would begin to be destroyed little by little. As someone who is not even a god is capable of damaging my body, at this rate I'll be eliminated again. When Beerus stopped consuming energy, his body would begin to disappear. In an attempt to save himself, he would manage to recover some of his ancient memories. Wiss, please! It's me! Don't let this mortal eliminate me! Remember all the good times we had together? If you still have a little appreciation for me, please, come and save me. Wiss, who was watching the battle, would be astonished. Mr. Beerus is still alive? If so, I can't let him lose his life. I need to stop this attack. But when Whis was about to intervene to eliminate Vegeta's attack, the Saiyan who was using his maximum powers would have shouted, Don't be an idiot! A person that has been eliminated by a being that overpasses the power of a supreme entity can't be able to revive. Don't be fooled by what your eyes see. You said it yourself. Mr. Beerus is already dead. And just as I have to accept that my wife has lost her life. Whis, don't listen to him. I am the Beerus you know. Don't let them end my life like this. Although Wiss had a lot of empathy for the God of Destruction, he himself would have withdrawn from the battle. I said it myself. He's already dead, and that's something that will never change. Vegeta, what are you waiting for? Finish him off at once. Vegeta, as a last effort, would have pushed his attack as much as he could. Vegeta's attack would begin to consume the body of the God, so what was left of his consciousness would have disappeared. His energy would begin to spread all over the place. Vegeta, what are you waiting for? Take advantage of this moment and absorb his energy as a god. Vegeta, even though he was very exhausted by the combat, would begin to meditate. So a white aura would be seen all over his body. The energy that was all over the place would begin to be absorbed by Vegeta. The Saiyan, while absorbing this energy, would start to sweat. Damn it! Even though I defeated him, absorbing his energy is not as easy as I thought. I need to fuse my main key with his. Suddenly, while Vegeta was absorbing this energy, he would have lost consciousness, thus managed to enter his inner consciousness. What is this place supposed to be? I can't be able to see anything. But I managed to feel a very suffocating killer pressure. A purple light would have shone in that endless darkness. You really have ability, Vegeta. I admit, I lost to you. But even if I lost everything, I won't let you take my power. God, you really are still alive. You are a very difficult pest to eliminate. But give up now. You can't do anything to defeat me. Stop being so confident. Behind Vegeta, some purple chains would have appeared, but the Saiyan would have only smiled slightly. So in one move, he would have cut those chains. You're trying to keep me locked up here? Don't be so stupid. If I'm not wrong, I'm inside my body, so I can do whatever I want. If you're not going to give me your power by hook or crook, I'll have to do it by force. Chains appeared again, binding the feet, hands, and head of the god. A lake of lava would have been placed under the god. When the god sees that lake of lava, he could only see his image in the form of a skeleton. What's up, god? Don't you think it's a little hot in here? Apparently you were very talkative before. Now you don't say anything. So it's really all over for me. I guess I can't ask you for mercy for what happened in the past. No doubt you are someone proud. You're a bastard! How dare you say I'm proud now? <laughs> really, if you are, in situations like this, you can only laugh. But well, at least fulfill my last wish so I can rest in peace. 
My last wish is that you eliminate Goku. I want revenge for what he did to me. Anyway, God, I don't promise anything. But as he is my eternal rival, maybe I will fulfill it. See you soon, and I hope you can rest in peace. Vegeta would throw the body of Beerus into the lava lake. The god would only scream momentarily, and then finally give all his energy to Vegeta. The Saiyan who was on the ground unconscious would have awakened, thus starting to increase his ki. This is really incredible. Vegeta's power does not stop increasing. On the other hand, Goku, he would have discovered the true entrance of the Abyss Massacre. This is incredible! This place is very different from the Abyss that I knew. I feel the power of many people with great power. Now, my mission is to reach the top of the Abyss and manage to face the final boss of this Abyss in order to obtain the Massacre energy. Suddenly, several months would have passed. Goku no longer knew how many enemies he had eliminated. By that time, his name was already known by the Master of the Abyss Massacre and therefore also by the bosses of all levels. This will be the end of you, Goku. It's time for you to lose your life. <laughs> I don't think that'll happen yet. Infernal gravity. Gravitational pressure waves crush the place limiting his opponent a little. This time, I'll also use the power of my eyes. Goku's eyes at that moment would have turned purple, thus using his purple glow ability. The brightness of the glow would blind his opponents for seconds. At that moment, Goku would take the opportunity to give many blows to the guy. The guy could only feel tearing blows attacking his body. I can't be able to see anything. I didn't think this guy's punches would hurt so much. A twister of purple energy would have been present, as Goku, while the subject regained his vision, would take the opportunity to turn his body. The temperature of the place would begin to rise sharply, so aggressively that everything was devoured by Goku's purple energy. His enemy was protected by a key barrage, which was already losing all its remaining hardness. That attack was too fierce. What does it all mean? How can someone have such a destructive power? Still, even if the guy possesses the mysterious purple energy, he should not be able to heat up this great abyss in seconds. The best I can do, since I don't know that strange energy that well, is to escape from here as far as possible. The guy, frightened by the brutal heat energy, would have flown far away from there. But in doing so, he would have crashed into something he could not see. Goku would have sealed the place, thus using a shadow barrier, which was being distorted by his ocular power. Gohan inside his father thought, I did not think that the purple energy hid so many secrets. No doubt, that guy entrusted me and my father with a great power. If my father continues to use his ocular power, maybe he can discover new abilities that can be useful in the future. The new ability that Goku used would have called it Seal of Hell, in honor of the first fights he had in the Abyss, which had been a real hell. You will not escape from this place. You will be turned to ashes. Don't even think about it. I won't lose my life here. The subject would begin to hit the barrier, thus using much of his strength. But no matter how hard he tried to break the barrier, he could not do anything. His despair increased little by little, while the temperature of the place began to increase every second. That desperation that you feel now is what I felt when I fell into the abyss, and also when I fought against the bosses of level 20. They sealed me in a small place, filling it with water and poison. But this time it's different. I'm not using water or poison. I'm only using the heat that my purple energy gives off. I guess it's not that bad either. I think that, compared to the other bosses, I'm being very compassionate. Don't you think so? You should be more grateful to me. You bastard. Before I die charred to death, I'll finish you off. A large amount of key balls were thrown towards Goku, who deflected them with only one hand. <laughs> That's all the final boss of level 68 can do? You really are scum. A rain of blows would start to fall on Goku, who didn't move from the same place. What a tough body this guy has. But my blows do not cause any damage. My cells begin to burn. I cannot stand so long locked up in this place. At most, I can stand five minutes. Suddenly, a light would appear in Goku's eyes. Goku's body would be totally controlled by the purple energy. Gohan would try to call to his father as he didn't feel the same connection he felt a few seconds ago. I can't be able to see what's happening out there. Maybe that enemy managed to kill my father. No, that can't be possible. My father had the advantage and by far. Besides, I'm still alive. The enemy would have unintentionally looked into Goku's eye. 
Obey me. At this moment, I want you to lose all your desire to fight. A strong, murderous intention would have manifested in front of the subject, causing him to begin to tremble uncontrollably. My body does not stop trembling. Suddenly, I'm so afraid. Without a doubt, I need to get out of here. In the thousands of years that I've existed, no one has ever made me tremble so much. In the eyes of the subject, Goku would have become a demon, thus beginning to devour his soul. But before his soul was consumed by the supposed demon, would have unwittingly run into the purple twister. His body would have turned into cosmic dust. Thus, his existence would have ceased to exist completely. Goku would have regained consciousness again. Father, are you alright? What happened to you? From one moment to the next, I lost all connection with you. The Saiyan would have touched his right eye. I don't know what just happened, but I'm losing my humanity because of this place. I can't let that happen. I have to return with my mind healthy. I spent so much time locked up in that room. I won't let my mind get damaged now. Father, you better calm down. The important thing is that you managed to defeat that boss. Now the only thing we can know is that the purple energy, as well as it helps you a lot, it can also affect you too much. And don't worry, you still haven't used all your power. In case you didn't know, when the two of us managed to merge our body and soul to 100%, being one person, we are able to increase our power a lot thus achieving a new transformation. But we don't need to use it now. We can use it in the last boss since that state consumes most of our ki. That's incredible, son. But these guys, even though they have made me live a hell, I must return the favor. My favor will be to give them a bloody battle as they like. Just wait for me, King of the Abyss Massacre. I will make you repent for the special treatment you have given me. I will make you regret the special treatment you have given me. A light would have descended on Goku, thus sending him to another level. Meanwhile, at the top of the Abyss Massacre, one of the servants of the final boss would be watching everything that was going on with Goku, and how he was able to advance so quickly. Master, it is only a matter of months for Goku to reach level 90, where the energy of Massacre is much stronger. He is not afraid that this mortal will end up surpassing his powers. It would be something very interesting, don't you think so, Zalo? But Master, you are the king of this world. You can't let something like that happen. The two of them are so similar. That young man also passed the Abyss Massacre as fast as this boy is doing. They both advance without fear of dying. Goku, I really hope you can reach level 100. Would think the king of the Abyss? Meanwhile, Goku. Father, I ask you to be careful when you fight. From here on, they will do everything possible to end your life. You're humiliating their level bosses in an extreme way. I doubt they will do nothing. I know we haven't used all our power, but for everything we have seen, for sure they will find a way to eliminate you without mercy. I know, son. I shouldn't have humiliated the last five bosses. However, there's nothing to fear. You said it yourself. Besides, the more I stay here, my power increases every day. And the most important thing is that I have you, son. At what level do you think that transformation that you usually mention will reach? I could not say for sure, father. But without using the possession of father and son, you are able to humiliate all the bosses of this abyss whom you have faced. I think Daishinkan is now a simple amateur. I doubt that now with the power he had before, he'll be able to defeat you. Also. Although you were about to lose your life many times, not only were you able to gain power, if not much experience in combat, the more time passes, the more we're able to control the purple energy, and your eyes, parents, have become much stronger than before. But you know something, son? The more the days go by, I keep asking myself the same question. This question has been going around in my head for a long time. What is all this supposed to be? What is really this abyss? Because beings of great power are isolated and condemned to fight all their lives in this rotten world. I see, so you also think the same father. According to what I have been able to analyze, the king of this world must be a powerful one, that surpasses everything we have seen before. A being that reaches such a level of power, has the aspiration to become much stronger every day. Not to stay isolated in a cold world like this. What secrets does the king of this abyss hide? By the way, Gohan, I need to neutralize all this negative energy that's been entering my body lately. Let me know if someone comes near me. On the other hand, Daishinkan was still training with his father. Before going to his last exam, 
we will go back several months to the past. Father, the power I have achieved by passing the first exam is incredible. I can't wait for the other two exams. Well, son, your second exam will not be as easy as the first one. This one will take some time. But father, the least I have is time. Insolent, you dare to correct your father? I've told you a thousand times. If you want to become an immortal angel, you will have to be patient. Excuse me, father. You can keep talking. <laughs> wait a moment, son. I won't let this go unnoticed. You also need some discipline. What are you talking about, father? It was just my mistake. My son, we angels do not make mistakes. We are perfect beings. You think I've reached this position by luck? Because if you think so, you're very wrong. I've achieved it thanks to my great deeds. The father of the angel had made a small applause, thus appearing two angels behind Daishinkan. I see, father. You think you can punish me? Suddenly, a fight would have started. Daishinkan would be throwing several key balls toward the two angels, but these two had the advantage. I don't know how your father could raise someone like you. One of the angels would have spread his wings, launching more than 2,000 feathers. Daishinkan would use again his angel golden spear, but this would not help him. Although he had created a whirlwind with the power of his spear, this would not have diverted the feathers that were going at great speed against him. Suddenly, the power he had received for passing the first test would have disappeared, thus losing much of his strength. The feathers would have hit his whole body. Suffering small electric shocks throughout his body, screams of agony were heard all over the place. Son, while you receive your punishment, I will explain your second test. You must eradicate the sins of this world. Your job will be to bring me the guard from Limbo. He has done things that have not been correct, and therefore you must eliminate it. If you do it, you will pass the second test. The father of the angel would have ordered to remove the feathers from his son. Thus, he fell to the ground in torment. In spite of the angel's inner rage, he would have accepted the second test. Suddenly, from the ground, several hands of dark energy would have come out thus dragging the angel's body to the place that was known as Limbo, or the place of nothingness. Master, don't you think your son is going a little overboard? You should cancel that test. I don't intend to do anything about it. The place where I send my son is more than sufficient. I doubt he can get out there unharmed. Or what do you say? You didn't lose a leg by entering that place? You asked me on your knees to take you out. No need to remind me of that humiliating moment. By the way, don't you think your son will have less chance of winning without the power you took away from him? I guess you're right. If it wasn't that he was doing the three tests, I wouldn't have given him anything back. On the other hand, Daishinkan would be dragged to the world of nothingness, thus seeing a completely grey world without any living being. The hands that were on top of him would start to snatch his divine power. But thankfully, his father gave him back his power that he had gotten again. He would have been able to let go of those hands to start running away from there. This place has a very bad smell. I can only hear wailing. And as far as I can see, the souls that are here are very interested in my divine power. Suddenly, a strange looking monster would have appeared behind the angel. Who are you? Are you an angel? Please, give me your light. I want to recover my original body. The hands of the being would have stretched out completely, so it tried to catch the angel's body again. You are a very repugnant being. I'll not give you any of my divine energy. Golden Angel Spear. Chaotic shooting. A strong flash went against that monster, thus piercing his head completely. The being had fallen to the ground, but the mere presence of the angel would have attracted more souls. The angel spent more than two days fighting without stopping. Perhaps this has no end. They're so weak, but the lack of rest and energy is making my body exhausted. Suddenly, the angel would have fallen to the ground, so several souls would have grabbed his body. My power begins to drain. I cannot allow that. In that mountain of souls would have appeared an energy that would finish them all. The angel taking advantage that there were no more souls around would have hidden in a nearby cave. I did not know that this test was so difficult. At least in here I can recover a little of my energy. While the angel was resting, he would have heard footsteps in the place which would make him wake up immediately. Where does the sound come from? A strong punch would send him flying, causing the cave to be completely destroyed. The angel would begin to vomit blood. From whom was that blow? 
when looking at the sky he would look at a very gigantic soul. So you are the angel who entered this world? You really have a very powerful energy. Here that energy is everything. Are you the guard of this place? Ha ha ha, you're wrong. The he would have eliminated you with a single blow. Never compare my strength with that of the guard. I don't know who sent you, but today you're not going to get out alive in any way. The giant fist had fallen on top of him. Daishinkan would use his two hands to try to stop the attack. Suddenly, a footstep would cause the ground to split. The angel would fall into the ground, about to be devoured by other souls. But he would use his angel wings to be able to fly. In this world, I cannot use my key to fly. So I can only use the angel power I have and my golden spear. The angel with the tip of his spear would have cut the foot of the subject, but this would have regenerated. That spear you have is very interesting. Why don't you give it to me? Maybe this way I will spare your life. Stop this nonsense, sacred light of angel! A powerful light would blind the subject. The angel, without thinking, would have pierced his chest with the spear. But this would be swallowed by the subject. Suddenly, his power would have increased more. This is great. I have become much more powerful thanks to that technique you used. And not only that, you have also attracted more beings like me. This should be a bad joke. In my world, I was one of the strongest. But here, I'm just a simple ant? If only I could use key in this world. The angel would start to escape far away from the place. But the being would have been transported in front of him to get another blow. I'm just a piece of trash here, just spitting out more and more blood. But I can't ask my father to get me out of here. Ha ha ha, you're just trash now. You look like a scared little bird. Why don't I pluck those wings of yours and make myself a nice ornament? Wait a minute, I know what to do with my remaining power. The angel would have opened its wings so that more than 500 feathers would come out at the same time. The feathers would have fallen on the being. You think you can defeat me with a few feathers? We will see about that. A very powerful discharge of energy would have made the subject start to scream. His chest had opened momentarily, revealing the angel's spear. It's now or never, I need to retrieve my spear. The angel would move extremely fast to get his spear back. The subject's power would have reduced considerably. Damn you, what are you doing? Give me back my spear. What are you talking about? This is my spear, and I will teach you myself how to use it correctly. The angel's weapon would have increased in size, and therefore would have been fired at the subject. If it hits me, I will be in big trouble. But although the monster tries to move, it is unable to do anything, as it was under the ability of the angel's feathers. I promise you that I will reincarnate again, and I will take revenge. These would be his last words before disappearing. What just happened? Perhaps my son was able to copy your technique, to use it to his benefit. Father, I promise you that I will get out of here. Just wait for me. Father, I promise I will get you out of here. Just wait for me. No doubt that spirit was very strong. I have to be more careful next time when using my angel power. Suddenly, some particles of the subject's ancient power would have suddenly appeared and then entered the angel's body. What happened? My power suddenly increased after defeating that guy! So I can also gain power by eliminating stronger guys? But the only bad thing is that if I don't expel that power from my body, I would only be creating another key, like the previous time where the negative energy took over my body to become a demon angel. But that is not worth it right now. I know that I will gain more power being an immortal angel. It is a pity, but I cannot give my father the pleasure. Anyway, I'll expel this power to continue looking for the Guardian. Daishinkan would have expelled that power from his body. While expelling it, more souls with the similar power of the previous subject would begin to attack him. No doubt this world does not let me rest even a little, but now I do not have the ability to fight with them. I have to get out of here. The angel, without thinking, would have used his wings to fly quickly from there, thus losing sight of the other souls. While the angel was flying to rest, he would have heard on the way someone asking for help. This would have caused the angel to stop flying, thus making a very surprised face. I'm not the only person alive in this place. How can it be possible that there are more people here? 
No doubt I have to help this person. <laughs> I will steal your energy and you will be my food. Stay away, please don't hurt me. Please, whoever it is, I don't want to die yet. When the monster was about to attack the guy, the angel would have arrived on the scene, thus giving him a punch in the face, which would make the monster move a few meters away. What was that? I couldn't see anything. Who just attacked me? A simple monster is trying to take advantage of the weakest? Hey, you do not get involved in this. This is none of your business. Wait a minute. If you have those wings, means you're an angel. Your energy is much more valuable. I need it to survive. From the subject would have appeared again several black hands, but the angel would begin to dodge them all and then give them a kick in the chest, which would send the subject to fly. You're so weak, why don't you sleep a little? The angel would have taken out again his golden spear to throw it against the subject at high speed, but the subject would have turned his body with black hands as if it were a butterfly cocoon. But this would not help him because the spear would go through his body the spirit would have disappeared completely, causing the spear to fall to the ground. That guy was very weak like the others. His power does not compare at all to that of the other guy. Hey, by the way, are you okay? You're not hurt. But when the angel would have turned his gaze to see if the person he saved was okay, he would have felt how his chest was pierced with great ease. The angel's vision would have become cloudy, and the divine blood that he had in his body did not stop falling. What is all this supposed to be? How was I not able to see such an attack? Being one of the strongest beings of all. You are so naive, Angel. How could you think that there is another person in this cold and dark world? You just fell into my trap. The person you just fought was just a clone. I can't believe how you were so naive. Master, your son is an idiot. How could he let himself be fooled so easily? Even I would have known it was a trap. You'd better shut your mouth now. He's really doing very well. First of all, he didn't accept the negative energy again, and he helped one person. Master, what's the use of all that, if he's going to die very soon? How he wanted his son to go through limbo without having more power, and not only that, he can't even use Ki. You're right. This world is only for the strong. Knowing my son, he will find a way to get out of it. The angel's energy began to be taken away little by little. His body was becoming bones little by little. This is what I get for trusting people, but I cannot give up yet. If I use my light again as an angel, I will attract other souls. That guy said it recently, they need energy to survive. I have to use that to my advantage. The angel would use his sacred light, thus attracting the attention of the other souls. What are you doing? Even by using the power of your light, you cannot escape your destiny. We'll see about that, damn you. Suddenly, several footsteps would begin to be heard in the place, thus approaching many souls to the place. Hey you! What are you doing? We also need to survive. It is not fair that you are the only one who gets that precious energy. The energy I am consuming is all mine. I will not share it. You're a selfish bastard! The angel taking advantage of the situation managed to break free from the subject's hands, thus falling to the ground very hurt. But in spite of that, he would scream. The last one standing, I will let him have my energy. The souls upon hearing that would throw themselves against that being. Although the other souls were busy fighting each other, the angel knew he had no chance to escape. He would use mental power to attract his spear to him, creating a shield with the energy of his spear. The other souls would start hitting his shield, while the others were fighting each other. Damn it, I have to heal my body as fast as possible. This wound I have in my chest will take me more than 30 seconds to heal completely, and I don't think my spear will last that long. I can use the blessing. My power could increase more, but I must not use it now. I have to save it for the Guardian. The shield was about to break, when suddenly, the angel's wounds would have recovered out of nowhere. I see, so my father helped me. Don't think I'm going to thank you for this. The angel's aura would have been elevated, this time, I was a little confident, but now I have a second chance again. I won't waste it. The angel would begin to fight with the souls that got in his way, while the strongest souls fought amongst themselves. Since they did not have the concern to finish with souls of lower level, since they knew they had no chance with the angel in front of them, 
After several minutes, the angel would have eliminated the souls of lower level, while the others with great power in combat would have been eliminated by only one subject. Angel, now only you and I are left. If you could not defeat that soul that pierced his body, you really are useless. I, the right hand of the guardian, will end your life. So that's why you're so strong. <laughs> now, more than ever, I must defeat you too. If I defeat you, I will know where that guardian is. The two beings would begin to fight each other, unlike the other souls. This one did not use his black hand's ability, but used a very sharp sword. The sword of the subject and the spear were making small collisions, thus beginning to distort the place a little. While the two were fighting in the sky, the subject would try to cut one of his wings to the angel, but he would barely dodge it, and then use the same ability he used against the other subject. But unlike the other time, he would throw more than 1500 feathers. Since his body was recovered, the feathers would be launched as projectiles with great force against the subject, but he would start cutting the feathers, as if it were a simple piece of paper. You would not throw those feathers just because. Unlike the beings of this place, I am very smart, and I can see the intention you have with every attack. Suddenly, the sword of that guy would begin to light up, thus starting to throw cuts in all directions. Taking advantage that the angel was distracted, he would use dark power, creating a copy of himself. This clone would have stood behind the angel, thus grabbing his two wings so that he could not move. My body can't move at all. Perhaps, does he know the weakness that we angels have? If I hide my wings now, I can fall into the void of nothingness. I can't escape from that again. <laughs> I wanted to see you like this without being able to move. One more move and your energy will be mine. I think you should never have stepped into this world so ruthless and cruel. The sword would light up again, thus starting to spin around as if it were a spiral. Ultimate technique, furious soul burning slash. The angel could only see how that great attack would go against him, unable to do anything. The only thing I can do now is to use mental power so that my spear can deflect that attack. The spear would begin to move on its own, thus becoming giant again. This giant spear would begin to collide against the sword of the subject, but while the collision of the two weapons of great power was present, one was losing with great disadvantage. The angel's spear began to break little by little. At that moment, the angel would have a very frightened face. My divine weapon that has always accompanied me, and I only use it when required, is losing against a simple sword? How can this be possible? If my spear breaks now, I'll be totally finished. I don't think my body can survive that great attack. The angel's spear would break completely, thus causing a great explosion of energy. The sword of the subject would be disintegrated by the great explosion that began to spread throughout the place. But what the hell is going on? My sword is gone. I'd better escape from here or else I will lose my life. The guy would start to move very fast. But even though he tried to escape the explosion, managed to reach him destroying his whole body. The souls that were nearby had disappeared completely. After a few seconds more, the explosion would stop expanding and then disappear. This would leave a large crater on the ground. The angel upon seeing the explosion had closed his eyes accepting his fate. But when he opened them, he realized that he was still alive. How can this be true? Perhaps my divine weapon had that power in case it would be completely destroyed. But even though I managed to save myself, I'm not happy. Without my divine weapon, I will not be able to beat the Guardian of Nothingness. On the other hand, that explosion would have been felt all over the world out of nowhere, thus attracting the attention of the Guardian of this world. What person dares to enter this world and make such a mess? He doesn't know his place. I see that I will have to leave here and teach him a lesson until he is dust. I see that I will have to get out of here and teach him a lesson until he is dust. The keeper would have risen from the ground to begin to walk slowly to the exit from the place where he was so as not to be disturbed and thus be able to increase his power little by little.
unlike the beings of this place, who need the soul of a being of light or a living being to survive. The guardian of this world had found to increase his power only by meditating his inner power every day, without the need to consume other souls. Keeper of this world, it is a pleasure to see you back. How did you spend your days there? You don't need to ask me such stupid questions, just tell me one thing. You too have been able to feel how several souls of this world, including powerful ones, have fallen because of a single subject. Yes sir, but I didn't want to bother you to inform you of that. I was afraid to make you angry. In fact, he has been here before. I ask you to forgive me for not having warned you before. The Keeper clenched his fists tightly. From my fury you have not been spared. I do not forgive any kind of mistake. The Keeper would give a single blow to his servant, managing to make him slowly turn to dust. Because you do this to me, after so many years of serving you, I promise you that I will take revenge. Those were his last words before losing his existence. You really are a mindless being. Your body no longer exists. The Keeper, after having eliminated his servant, would have begun to run at high speed where the Angel was. Damn it, I lost my golden spear. Now everything will be more difficult for me. While he was lamenting, more souls began to approach where he was to steal his energy. But unlike the other times, these souls from one moment to another began to move away from the Angel, as if they were afraid of him. Now that they saw that I beat that guy, I doubt they'll want to face me again. The souls were still running from the angel, when suddenly, one of these souls shouted. Everybody, get out of here! The keeper has woken up and is angrier than ever! I don't know how I'm going to defeat him, but I need to pass this test. I've already come very far. Daishinkan got into combat position patiently waiting for that being that moved to an extremely fast speed. When the subject was about to approach, the angel managed to feel his murderous energy and also his enormous power, being totally paralyzed. What is happening? This power is much greater than I expected. My father did not tell me about this. It turns out that the one who was disturbing my world was neither more nor less than an angel, and not just any angel, but the assistant of the king of everything Zenosama? How a person like you fell into this world? I see, you know who I am, and if you do, you'd better get away from here before I end your life. The guy's laughter would echo all over the place. <laughs> you really are a funny guy. The subject would use his great speed to make a large circle where the angel was, thus giving him several blows. The angel would use his two wings to use them as a shield, but this would be useless since another blow would have impacted on his face, making the angel go out as a simple ball far away, crashing against the debris of the place. The subject would use the mental power to attract the body of Daishinkan into the palm of his hand. The angel would grab the rocks that were in the place to not be attracted by his mental power, but this would not be of much use, since the mental power that the subject had was very strong, managing to attract him back to his hand before the angel touched his hand again. He would have used his ability again, thus several feathers coming out of its wings launched as a projectile at the subject's face. The feathers would stick to the guard tough skin to after a few seconds suffer a great electric shock. While the subject suffered that great electric shock, Daishinkan would stop being pulled by the subject's mental power, thus falling to the ground. Now that he is immobilized by the great discharge of energy, I must take advantage of the situation to attack him and end his life. The angel would leap forward to fill his fist with angel energy, his fist burning with a very golden energy thus illuminating for a moment the place of nothingness. Upper Angel's blow! A strong blow would be impacted against the subject. The Angel put a lot of pressure on his blow in order to destroy his tough skin. But while the Angel was still using his ability, the subject would have turned his eye to where the Angel was, thus disappearing for a few seconds, and then reappearing, kicking him in the stomach. The Angel would be thrown into the heavens, Despite the pain he felt, he would launch himself again against the subject, using his active ability in his right fist. 
but the Keeper, seeing that his ability was coming, would only stop it with his palm. The ability would be destroyed instantly. The being taking advantage of having the angel's fist in the palm of his hand would begin to destroy the angel's hand little by little. The angel seeing this would take several steps back. My hand is turning into sand little by little, and if this continues, my body will also be converted into that. Father, as you were able to lock this guy in this place, not only is he strong, but also has the ability to turn anything into dust? The angel seeing that his hand would be about to turn into dust, before his ability reached his body, he would cut his hand at his own will, thus managing to stop the ability of the subject. A lot of blood would start to come out of his arm, but the angel would manage to close the wound with his angel light. Now you are just a useless angel with only one arm. You almost managed to save yourself, but your luck is running out. If only I had my spear, maybe the story would have been different. The guy would walk where the angel was. At that moment, the angel did not know what else to do. You managed to eliminate so many souls on your own, but with me, you have not managed to do anything. Your power was slowly destroying the angel's body. Come on, angel, you're about to be wiped out of existence itself. At least say something before you lose your life. Daishinkan would have just spit on the subject. This would make the body start to dust twice as fast. On the other hand, Sir, I think that now, if it is the end of your son, that test was too much for him. To finish with that guard is crazy. My son is not such an idiot to let himself be killed just like that. He only has one thing left to use, and it is something he has been saving for this occasion. What are you talking about? His son has already used the golden spear and exhausted most of its power. There is nothing he can do. You just watch. Wait, sir, don't tell me that he... Your life is about to end. See you soon, you damn angel. You're wrong. I'm not going to die yet. Without having faced that scene, blessing of the angel! A strong golden energy would have fallen on the angel, while above it was a large angel that commanded respect and fear. The being would have let go of the angel's neck, then he would retreat backwards. The angel's wounds along with its arm would have healed. This is impossible. I managed to reverse my technique. Maybe it is using a curse technique. I'm not sure about that, but it must be something very strong to be able to have exploited its power so much? The angel's golden aura could be seen all over his body. It's time to make you pay for the humiliation you did to me. Daishinkan would throw himself against the subject, so they would start fighting in the whole world out of nowhere. The other souls could only see two energies colliding all the time at an incredible speed. The angel would begin to throw several key balls at the subject, but unlike normal key balls, when they collided, they generated a great devastation. Subject would be cornered with key balls. With just a snap of the angel's hands, these balls of energy would have exploded, managing to damage a little the hard skin of the subject. Daishinkan kept hitting the subject while he would only cover himself. Two beasts made up of several souls would have come out of the subject's sword, thus trying to hurt the angel. While the angel was fighting with those beasts, the subject would think, This idiot is surely sacrificing much of his life just to be more powerful. Let's see how long this farce lasts. Mind control of 50,000 souls! Brainwaves were sent to many souls, so from one moment to the next, a great tremor would be felt, shaking the whole world out of nowhere. An army of souls was going where the angel was, and there were precisely not few. As the guard of this world, I have enough power to control any soul that comes to this world. Daishinkan, after a while, managed to finish off those two beasts, only to realize the large army that was coming at him. You're a damn cheat! This fight is not fair at all! Look who's talking. I'm just using what I have in my favor. The souls began to throw themselves against the angel, one by one, but Daishinkan managed to defeat them very easily. But in spite of that, time was running out, and each time he kept using the angel's blessing, his very body was becoming more and more fragile. A whole mountain of souls would be placed on top of the angel. Its energy would be stolen. The father, who was watching all that, would get up from his chair very angry. 
You are an, an idiot, idiot, son. son. Your, Your blessing, blessing time, time is, is running, running out. out. Do, Do something, something fast. fast. The father, without realizing it, what he said would have been heard around the world out of nowhere. Father, you don't have to tell me. I'm not stupid not to notice. Daishinkan put energy into the ground, causing it to be placed at strategic points. From one moment to the next, the ground of the place would tremble like a volcano. All the energy he had put in would have exploded with great power, and succeeded in eliminating most of the souls, which were above him. The remaining ones he would eliminate with his feathers and hands alone. Enough of the games. I will not waste a blessing like this. A giant fist of some angel would have appeared in the sky. Daishinkan would begin to control these fists with his hands, thus beginning to crush the Keeper. While the Keeper was being crushed, he would be a little shocked and then receive another blow.